All right, there we go. Click the button. And there we go. So while I uh, get the link to put po to, to post, now that's been a week and a half. How are you guys oh, feeling? <laughs> how, how are you guys feeling about Snoot now that you've had time to digest more? And what are your expectations coming up? Snoot's, Snoot's a good girl. Snoot's just has a troubled a troubled lifestyle, but she's a good person at heart. I'm looking forward to seeing what we can do to help Snoot. I think people still need to be nicer to Naomi. Um, nah. I uh, I still just don't feel the absolute ridiculous degree of love that Az does for, for Fang. You, you you know, wa waifus you aren't meant waifus aren't meant to be understood with the brain. They're meant to be understood with the heart. That's how I feel about Trish. <laughs> you don't think about waifus with your head. All right. Fucking Guardians 2 line there. You think when I think about my waifu, I use my head? I don't know what you're paraphrasing. Oh, it's a it's a line in Guardian of the Galaxy 2 uh, when Yondu says, when I make this arrow fly, do you think I use my head to control it? And the answer is no, he uses his heart. <laughs> All right. So when we last left off, we just got the venue. We just got the nice pizza place all set up. You just right. went to the dynamos and we got to your venue. Ah, uh, good old dynamos. I just realized, like, dynamo. You, you <laughs> only just got that pun? Yeah. Wow. Hey, Shima, you can move the slowpoke over now. All right. Fang, play is, Fang is sitting on a bench in front of one of the restaurant windows. She's humming to herself, and her tail is drumming Eurobeat on the bench. I take a seat next to her. Oh, that's the problem. We're looking at the stream and not the. <laughs> yeah, look at look at the screen share, man. <laughs> By now, the plaza has cooled down. Most shops have closed, and the only people still out are returning home after the long day. The two of us sit in co companionable silence, save for Fang's humming and tail drumming. Her mood is contagious, and soon enough, I'm humming with her. I already know the song. It's from the roof. Except more... More... Happy. Yeah, because she's not mangling herself. Yes, that's also good. The scene is great. Just Fang and I on a bench in the war waning sunlight in the middle of a deserted plaza. Oh, that really does sound comfy. Taking the moment in, I almost don't notice Fang scooting closer to me. Fang snooting closer. Ha <laughs> ha! Dang it, it's supposed to be no Naomi November, she, but she's right God, there. Damn it, we're like only what, a minute in? Ruin! Ah, you fools thought you could escape me for a whole month? We could try at least. I know where your dicks are! <laughs> <laughs> it's such a horrifying statement. Like, specifically at this time, we're just on our bodies. Yes! I already said it. Okay. Uh, oh. The ride, the ride back to Fang's house went by uneventfully. Fang and I didn't talk about what happened, so Nazer didn't have an aneurysm. Oh, is that me? Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. Fang's mom. I Did I so. just do like Princess Peach? I, yeah, you I were think Princess so. Peach. He was. Oh, welcome home, Nazer dear. Oh yeah, so I forgot this last time. Um, how could I forget with you two of all people? You want to give a guess on who our parent, um, who the parents are based off of? Ah, uh, I thought the mom looked familiar with the side tail, like the side tail that all anime moms have before they die. <laughs> oh, you know uh, what? Her mom. I was gonna say I thought it looked like the Full Metal Alchemist mom. What were you no. gonna say, Hinkle? 
I was gonna say, kind of looks like Deku's mom, but eh. No, that's not Deku's mom. No, no, nah, that's not Deku's mom. The dad, though, I could not tell you for sure. I mean, well, he has a cool scar on his face can you give and a hint? all these fucking injuries, but I. Well, I'll I'll just, I mean, I'll I'll just tell you the names because I should give it to you enough. The names are Ripley and Samantha. Oh, I know. Fuck me. I know. I know exactly who they Samus are. Samus and Ridley. Yeah. That's kind of a fucked up relationship. Oh, uh, that's such a weird ship that's all over the internet. Yeah, I don't I don't doubt it exists, but it is it is really fucking cursed. It's so annoying. It's, it's it's just so oh my god, you killed both my parents in front of me and maybe ate my mom at the manga's cannon. Hug me. Well yeah, it's just it's just a power move in his also, culture. That's how they Also work. I can I, I can see that for Samus for, for Fang's mom. I can see that with the hair now. It, it being in front of her though, that, that is the side that is the side ponytail that a lot of anime moms who die have. It's like famous. Anime Prince moms died. who die. Aaron's mom had it and she died. Ed's mom had it and she died. Ed's mom dies? Ed, oh, spoilers for Full Metal Alchemist episode one. <laughs> the very <laughs> intro of it. I never would have gotten Ripley though. I mean, he's definitely big and imposing, but there, like, there's no features that immediately spring to mind of it being Ridley, other than being a pterosaur, I guess. Yeah. I was gonna say something. Is it Marin? Yeah, I can believe. Who's Marin? I... Who? Marin? You said Marin's mom dies or something. Oh, I said yeah. I said Aaron from Aaron Yeager from Attack on Titan. Oh. His mom has the side. Oh, you said tail. Marin. Oh. I'm like. It, it, like I was like, Android 18 dies? No, I, I meant to say Aaron if I did. I meant to say Aaron. Also, if Android 18 were here, she would correct me and his, say her daughter's name is Marin. Say it, get it wrong again and you die. <laughs> also, yeah, so I can totally see that. It's just a cursed ship. I could almost see Ridley having a crush on Samus in like a enemy, you know, like a enemy foyer kind of way, but Samus hate no way. Samus even more than Samus hates Ridley. <laughs> <laughs> How did your date go? I'm just dying to know. Oh no, we just talked about the hairstyle, don't. I'm also interested. I don't know how, but he's looking into the exact center of my pupils with no margin of error. Did you touch my daughter? It's impressive, because I don't have any pupils. I know where they are. I don't need to look directly into them to see into your soul, boy. So, Anon, how was your trip with my little girl? Ew. Dad. Why don't you go get ready for bed, Lucy? Fang glowers. I love Lucy. Lucy, your mom. And your mom. <laughs> I look to Fang. Okay, yeah, it was a date. It went well, sir. What did... We were able to find a venue, and I met Fang's Uncle Mo. Fang's dad sputters. I have half a mind of bringing you to the station, boy. What? And the other half of testing my new nightstick on you. Right where the only hole on your body would be. Hey, none, son. Yes, none, please. None. Back. <laughs> no. I wouldn't mind doing this again. You, the, the hanging with Faye, not the thing you're talking about. You only got one hole on your body I can suspect in on. That's where my nightstick is going. Alright, not Naomi's evil. Oh, wow. <laughs> and no eyes. No, 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 she's just seeing the relation. Everything's going according to Kikaku! Oh, wow. The look at Faye's face is really cute. My OTP is coming through! Oh, I'm so happy for you two! I wave as I turn to the door. I'll see you at school, Fang. Y yeah. You too, Anna. Good neighbor. 
That boy's got balls. I like balls. <laughs> I especially <laughs> like hitting them on the green. <laughs> I... Good save. <laughs> With that, I exit the door. Once it's closed, I can feel all that bravado evaporate and my legs turn to jelly. I think that's enough excitement for one day. My first step towards the bus stop is so wobbly, I worry I'll end up in Fang's mom's rose bush. It would probably be a good idea to sit a, sit a bit and catch my breath before going home. And just yeah, you take... don't want to end up in your date's bush. Uh, sorry, your date's mother's bush. <laughs> That's my job. <laughs> so I take a seat on the curb just outside of Fang's house. The door behind me slams open, and I jerk around to see Nacer being shoved down the steps. And don't come back until you're finished thinking. The door slams again, and I hear a morose sigh. Oh man, Anon. Yeah. Well, why are you sitting here? Just catching my breath. Your dad's a bit. Hey. <laughs> Harsh. I'm a sidle, but close enough. Nacer huffs and shoves his hands back into his pockets. You know, you're the reason Dad kicked me out, right? What? I, I know he's pissed. I so much as looked at Fang, but what did you do? Did you also look at Fang? Turns out, letting you run off with Fang is just encouraging your degeneracy or something. Sighing. Look at Fang. <laughs> I just dropped this thing. Sighing, Nazer drops to sit on the curb next to me. He kicks a rock clean across the road and into the neighbor's mailbox. Impressive. Hmm. Getting kicked out really got you that down? Dark. Hmm, convincing. What's the real answer? What's it to you? Not much. Just figured I'd ask. He stretches his wings and lays back on the pavement. I can never hear the, name, the the phrase "What's it to you?" without thinking of that SpongeBob episode. <laughs> what's it, it to you? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. We're trying to find out the guy's yeah. name, and it's Mr. "What's it to you?" I a lot of people hate on more c current SpongeBob, but that episode will always crack me up. I mean, that one's not too current, right? It's, I mean... It's post-movie, yeah, but it's... Yeah. It's early enough in that that it could still have some decency. Oh, what's it to you? <laughs> That's like a Phoenix Tear witness name. Yeah. Just figures it'd get to this. Get to what? He's nuts. Okay. He punished Fang's issues. Nacer lays an arm over his eyes. I just need to go alone. You saw her today. She was this close to killing your girlfriend. Honestly, you should be thanking me for that. I mean, you think no, no Naomi November's bad, you'd be having no Naomi Lifetime. He waved me away at that. Go on. You aren't my therapist. Humor me. So, why did the chicken cross the road? Oh no, why did the chicken cross the road? Because... <laughs> because... <laughs> Nope, that's it. 
Okay, that we've made great- anti-anti-humor. <laughs> we've made great progress today. I'll send you the bill for this session. <laughs> Dazer's arm flops away from his face and onto the concrete. Ugh, I mean, look at it from my perspective, man. Thing is always up to something stupid. More often than not, these days, she's arguing with her, either me or her parents. At this rate, Fang will end up a junkie or in a prison somewhere. I cringe at the mental image of Junkie Fang. So basically the way she is now. She's not that bad yet. She's fucking smoking cigarettes. <laughs> Mom uh, and Dad have pretty much accepted that, so who do you think all their hopes and dreams go to? me in case you you weren't getting where this was going oh you wow surprising with a growl Nazer sits back up it's like I'm not allowed to have problems of my own not allowed to mess up or do anything less than the best judging by the trophy case at school you aren't doing half bad I wish it was an option to fail, I mean... Failure is not an option. Oh, so you just it's automatically not... succeed everything you do? Dude, that's great. It's not an option. I can't do it. I want to fail. But I can't, I'm too good. Why does everything I touch rocks? <laughs> it's not even that I'm too good, it's just that fate constantly conspires to my success. <laughs> Instead, I'm stuck with no room for error, and still with a broken sister. And a broken wing. And she's still my sister, you know? Can't help but be a little worried for her. But what can I do? She hates me, and I can't bring up my worries with my parents. Even Naomi notices I get stressed about it. I just want my sister to be happy to go back to normal. Wow, fucking sis scum! <laughs> but I don't even remember what her normal is. What even is normal? Fuck say he's fucking sis asshole. I don't have siblings myself. But if I did, I certainly would have trouble doing all you're able to do. That selflessness by itself should help you, though, right? Oh, hey, Tenchi, how you doing? Selflessness? You kidding me? Her friends would be destroyed if Fang was just... It just dropped all that. Who am I to even wish she were different? So you're getting all this worked up and you aren't even and you aren't sure it's even the right thing? Yeah. Uh, I I guess so. I try to parse everything Nazer's bitched about up until now. Come on. <laughs> guess it's time for Dr. Moose's psychological response. It's one of your favorite scenes, actually. It is really nice for Nazer. It's a nice scene. You know, Nazer, have you ever considered just... not? What? Nazer practically lunges at me. I hold my hands up in supplication. I consider what to say. Moe's advice drifts to the forefront of my thoughts. Okay, hear me out. Just consider this. Maybe it's not your job. I mean, y you go out of your way to try and help her. Hell, even Naomi has tried. But maybe Fang's problem is her problem to fix. 
I... 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 We met your uncle today. Uncle Mo? Yeah, and he had some advice for me. He said she needs someone to support her, not fix her problems for her. Isn't that what I've been doing? Remember the show in the auditorium? The perturbed pterosaur sags as he recalls that disaster. Uh. Look, man, you got a lot of problems of your own. Maybe you should handle those first before you try and fix your sisters. <laughs> well, if Uncle Mo said so. But why did he tell you that? Shit. Uh, y y you know, just advice from an old guy. You know how they are. You know how they love to give advice. His head shakes side to side, dismissing my dismissal. No way, not Uncle Mo. He'd never give you the time of day. What's that supposed to mean? He doesn't know what time it is. <laughs> oh. Ah, shit, 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 shit. Alright, look. He just wanted me to give me some advice for Fang, and now I'm giving it to you. So drop it. No way. Advice for Fang. Saying it was a date. <laughs> Wait, do, do you, like, actually like my sister? Well, are we talking like-like, or like-like-like, or just, just a normal like? Like, 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 like? I wasn't the one to call it a... That... Explains a lot of shit. But I didn't... Oh, God. What would Dad think of the kids? Well, well no, no, <laughs> we're, we're, we're jumping a little far here, bro. What the fuck? Hell, if Dad finds out at all... Nazer! He pauses, the look of shocked disdain still stuck to his face. At this point, it seems like you just want to be a stressed mess. Maybe I do like your sister. Sure, she's rude, violent, and maybe a bit bipolar. She's impressionable, self-centered, stubborn. The list goes on. Are you looking to taste some concrete? I don't know, this concrete tastes good. I am kind of hungry right now. You just ate a shitload of pizza. <laughs> yeah, but that was like a week and a half ago. <laughs> but, be all, but beyond all that, there's more to her. Like she's hot. Like... Like her passion, Nazer. She adores music. Adores playing music. And she has these... Moments where I can see the softer side of her. The pop of Knuckles from Nacer tells me I should rephrase that. I mean, it feels like I've gotten to see a side of Fang that she hasn't shown anyone else. A side that's willing to give a loser like me the time of day. And that's enough? Yes. I've never been showed affection before. I don't know, man. This is all uncharted water. I feel like you just explained a lot about me that I never understood until you said that right there. <laughs> well, I'm glad to be your therapist. I'll be sending you a bill soon. <laughs> like, how, how did you and Naomi get together? That is a very long story. I got time. I don't think I'll be walking anytime soon. How long? About two school semesters, 30 track meets, and a school election. Oh yeah, we could fit that in. 
That's what she said. <laughs> so about a paper book, a paperback book, then. Sure, why not? Cool. Can I get signed? Nacer hums as he glides back onto the pavement. Hum. Oh, how do we wind up talking about our love lives? Speak for yourself, man. I know fuck all about this stuff. And you think I do? And looking it up, Nacer has short A like NASCAR rather than laser. So like it's, Nasser. It's a, it's a variant yeah. of Nasir. Okay, so it's Nasser. Like uh, NASA. But what you're saying is I'm still going to call it Nasir. <laughs> well, good for you, you're wrong. Speaking of Naomi and Nasser, you guys doing the bonus chapters? We will be doing them eventually. But I think those are down the line, right? You don't I want... guess we will be, because you said it. Yes. <laughs> like I've seen. chapters. I mean, they're on the menu. It's not like they're hidden or anything. What's the menu? <laughs> bonus docs. But hey, it's like I got in the description. Did I put it in the YouTube channel description? I don't know. 100% stream, we do everything. Oh, it's me. Naomi's the one that makes all the planes and stuff. Oh, and then also, hey, Bo hey Bongo, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. That's a fucking outrageous name. What? The Bongo, Bingo, Tango, Mango. I, I didn't even process that. Bongo, bingo, tango, mango, I don't want to leave the kango. Oh, no, 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 no. Sounds racist. <laughs> You're racist. Seems like she does that a lot. Just the way she is. And she'll say things like, all oh, according to Keikaku, and it's kind of ominous, but I don't get what she means when there's no cake around. <laughs> anyway, I, I think Dad's had enough time and beer to cool down now. It's not an abusive parenting relationship at all. How long has it been? This conversation was not an hour. <laughs> not an hour, I think. <laughs> well, so yeah, he thinks it's an hour. He is wrong. He's, it's been like five minutes. <laughs> Wait. Nacer, do you, do you not have a concept of time? Five Namekian minutes. I swiftly withdraw my phone to check the time. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm gonna miss the last bus. Actually, was, I think there might have been a part where they just said they were chatting about things. I forget now. Oh, yeah, true, maybe. I could give you a lift. And I prefer Uber. And let you find out I live in the shittiest part of town? I... I call. What? Just the... The insecurity about where you're living when first of all it's not even like your choice uh, I mean everyone already knows you're poor and on it wouldn't surprise you yeah they only get back in size not enough time for your jokes nah it's fine if I run I think I can make it well don't let me keep you I'll catch you at school Anon yeah sure thing <laughs> And for what it's worth, you're not like the monkeys we hear about all the time on Dino News Network. <laughs> wow. And that might be a little racist. <laughs> yeah, really. Like, <laughs> that's fucking hell. You don't like the other black people I know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like the monkeys we hear about on the news. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, oh my god. <laughs> You know, uh, you're one of the you're one of the good ones, Anon. I'm not racist. I just didn't <laughs> expect you to be a good person. <laughs> the kind that hang around the parts the part of town called Skin Row, you know. Thanks. Just gonna ignore that. Thanks for sticking around with it. So yeah, I guess his dad's just racist. I guess that's all this is. Oh, is it the dad? I mean, Nazer didn't say, imply that. Could just be I mean, him. He picked it up from somewhere. But yeah, Dino News Network. DNN. 
but I mean, what I'm saying is I think that that's why the dad is so against this relationship. Yeah. I mean, it could also just be overprotection, doesn't want anyone around his daughter. Right, that's how it came up first, but now I'm wondering if it's just racism. I mean, he didn't really like... Well, oh my Wait, human. did he like Reed when he came around, or he just did not see Reed as a threat on that? I don't remember. DNN, I think, is straight from Jin Henson's dinosaurs. Ah, that'd be a nice What's call. What's from Jim Henson's dinosaurs? Dino DNN. News Network. Oh, I mean, it's like straight it, up from the show. I mean, it's a simple enough swap from CNN. So, also, hey, E Smith, how you doing? And you gotta get every ending for the bullish chapters. That I did know. That I was aware of. Thanks for sticking around a bit. It's nice to finally be able to tell someone all that. I wave Nacer goodbye as I get up and start jogging for the bus stop. Fucking smooth jazz. I'm mentally, fa jazz. I'm mentally fatigued after everything that's happened today. Ooh. I check my phone for the time. Hmm. Oh shit, it's daylight saving time. I open up the browser and go to a familiar Sudaton sword swallowing IRC. What the fuck? Hey, hey, guess who just got back from a perfect date? You fuckers. <laughs> that's definitely what happened. <laughs> 12 replies from a single post. I think that's a new record for me. Wow. Also, wow. Weak. Only 12 <laughs> U's. <laughs> what was that, Hinkle? I was going to say, if I ever become the kind of person who brags about a single date, shoot me. Well, would, well, it's a perfect date. That, that's totally different from just a normal date. You're bragging about perfection. I, yep. that, no, the perfection is the brag. That is, it wasn't a perfect date. I, I refuse because assuming it's the truth, then you are possibly our group's only chance at procreation, and I can't afford to take that chance away. <laughs> the heart of Femto must live on, Hinkle. You brag as much as you want, as long as your progeny goes on to bring our games to the next generation. <laughs> He must pass down the torch. Fang's mom did say no intimidating the suitors. And they have had that and they have had that conversation before. Okay, so then there would have been boys before, so he's probably very overprotective. To a degree. Yeah, but they were all probably dino suitors. This was a monkey suitor. This was a skinny. <laughs> Didn't want no skinny in his heart and his house lingering at his daughter. Was the day letting them live around here? Fucking meteor dodgers. <laughs> <laughs> One week later. The few weeks been a mix of excitement and trepidation. More excitement from Fang and the band, and trepidation on my part around Fang. Having come to terms with how I feel, I just can't stop noticing all the little things she does. Like her cute tail wagging to a silent tune. Or her weird and funny way of eating. Or how soft and huggable her wings look. Oh, Raptor Jesus, this is what love is. I kind of want a sample buckshot. That's... And yet, I don't want it to stop. Yeah, you see, he's conflicted. He's never felt love before. Even now, as Mo and Reed work on clearing the floor of tables and making a noise. Wow. And nice. And I'm drooling like an idiot nice. as I watch Fang bend over a large amp. That's a lot of camel toe. Yeah, that's a really fucking <laughs> tight pants. Uh, I li I li I'm liking the dials. Yo mama, yo papa. Can't hear <laughs> shit. Real fucking loud. Jack push this to turn it on, idiot. Put, put this, push uh, this to turn it on. Uh, audio oh, the Jack. And Jack the, Jack I the Rapper. Ripper. Ripper. Audio I, the Jack. Jack the Ripper. Yeah. Real fucking loud. Can't hear shit. I love the labels. Too. Great. Can't hear Just shit. Mole. Also, is she wearing under... I guess that's... I guess we're all... Yeah, I mean, there's absolutely... Yeah, there's, there's lines. Line. But... That just feels like it hurts. 
<laughs> no, the, the, she's got scales. It, it protect, it, they don't feel it. Or she's got a cloaca. She'll be fine. <laughs> I don't know who this is speaking. Ahem. Even now, her tail wags to that mysterious beat in her head. Oh, maybe it's Faye. Ahem. Uh, or Trish. MGTOW brand amp in a dino dating Viet. I don't get that. Also, hey, Jace Srissies. Thanks for stopping by. Not to mention the way those jeans hug her hips and ass. Oh, yeah, it probably is Trish. Uh, hem. Huh? Yeah. Yep, it's Trish. That's girl. Aren't you supposed to be helping? Huh? Oh shit, right! I yeah, right! Uh, just moving this table! <laughs> I'm the only one who can check out her ass! I mean, you, you can go ahead if you want. I think I'm. Do what? You can go ahead if you want. <laughs> I pick up the last table on the floor and hurriedly hurriedly move it to the suspiciously large storage room in the back of Dino Moe's. I set the table down with the rest, right next to the seemingly out-of-place buckets of cement mix. Looking out from the closet, the joint is actually pretty big. Oh, I love that they just acknowledge that they picked the first storage room picture they could and didn't bother... Changing oh, anything. Oh, the crust is so crunchy. <laughs> we work in cement right into the door. The area is a good 150, uh, 150 by 200 feet. So without the tables, there's enough space for at least a few hundred people. Impressed, I let out a low whistle. I'm on time, right? I'm also on some other shit, but we're not gonna talk about that. Where did she come from? Huh? Who are you? What? We've met before. God. What? Wait. Stella, right? From the school gardens? She gleefully nods. Yeah, Rosa should be coming any minute now. She's gonna kick your ass. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I, I guess I got an IOU on that beating. I haven't spoken to either of them since campus beautification. Well, other than Stella through the bathroom door, but that doesn't really count. But Fang and the rest will be happy they have at least two fans, right? You know... There's always room in the gardening club you fill in a giant. Aw, oh, does she like him? That's adorable. There's no way I'm going back to that sort of prison labor. It's also weird that she likes him when he's such a dick to him and to her. <laughs> well, I guess she's into that. I look the wow, it's weird that a girl likes a guy who's a dick to her. <laughs> so weird, I never would have imagined that. Wait, are you are you saying girls like bad boys? It's no, I mean, some obviously. I, I, I was gonna s shout an outrage, but I all mean, of them, you hear everyone's that? different. Go on the use women, it'll get you laid. They fucking love it. <laughs> it doesn't matter what they say, they absolutely love it when you hit them. Go out and do it. Do it I now. Hate, I hate, I have hate. <laughs> I look the pale green spine covered thing up and down, including the Opie t shirt she's wearing. Oh, well, that's funny. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, you you do know what your shirt says, right? It's open. Stella gives a quiz. <laughs> oh, I like that reaction. Stella <laughs> gives me a quizzical look, glances down at her shirt, her face turning bright red. Right now, I gotta Google. Uh, I just Googled it. Do you want to know? I'm Googling. Do you guys not know? I, knew, I, I I admittedly did not know until I searched it. That's actually, but that's a hilariously ironic shirt. There's nothing to be embarrassed, embarrassed about. 
I thought Chi Chi was. Uh, I guess that's more Chinese because I know that's the that's the pun. In, mm. in Dragon Ball, Chi Chi is, is breast, or maybe maybe it means milk. Maybe it means like breast milk, sp milk no, bleh, breast milk specifically. Interesting. Oh my! Is this is this was the only clean shot I had. If I didn't feel the way I did about Fang, I'd think Stella's stammering was kind of cute. Suddenly, her face lights up and her eyes return to me. Wait. You like anime too, don't ya? Play it cool, Nan. No need to reveal your power level. I just, I just, yeah, fuck him sometimes, though. <laughs> I used to when I was little. That's not gonna fly. You yeah, yeah no I've seen a bit here and there. Yeah. Here there. Also, this is adorable. She definitely likes him. I, I love her. I've seen a bit, bit there and there. It's the only way. Man, Hinkley, you've just been loving everyone but Fane. Yeah, she's not. I. I. I have never been into her kind of person. Fair. Opai is more of a slang term. Ah. Love their tails wrapped around her leg. Yeah, it's adorable. Ah. Uh, I, I just. I just like prehensile tails in general. Just getting a motive with them. Do they, uh, do female dinosaur girls use their tails to? Uh... They could. To, uh, they're to what? stiff enough. You know. They're stiff enough. But I don't to, know about what? Source to, to, to like got, clean? Like, plates in the way. To like clean or something? Yeah, don't make me say it. <laughs> like I said, I don't think the plates... Don't make me say it live on stream. <laughs> the plates in the Stegosaurus tail would get in the way, I feel like. Yeah. Uh, a, a little bit. Although now I'm thinking about dinosaur vagina and how awful that would feel why maybe on the outside why would that inside. be awful but it's scaly there, on the outside, we saw at the start the of the inside, game it's as soft as everything else at, at the start of the game when naomi took our hand to drag us through the school a non commented how soft it was despite being scales it's like it's like rubbery mm. it's like a rubbery it's like a rubbery tube i mean i don't know if i would go with rubbery <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> That's amazing. I don't have anyone else I can talk to about that. Ironically, actual Stego tails were nearly inflexible. Ah, oh. so they, so they've they evolved then. Incredible tail strength. They've managed to evolve. That's good for them. <laughs> What's your favorite anime? I love Precure. I can't even imagine what that's supposed to be a joke. I, I, I know that's I think it's an actual anime, but I don't know what it is of. I think it's a magical girl one. Raptor Jesus eyes cross of rock. Wait, which one was it again? I might recognize it. Precure. Pre okay. Oh, pre yeah, yeah pretty cure. I knew I would have known pretty cure. The fuck is It is, is it is Toei's and it is Toei's answer to Sailor Moon. It is their premier magical girl franchise that goes alongside their Super Sentai and Kamen Rider series. Oh, huh. sounds terrible. <laughs> it takes oh, all sounds my. Sounds like you have shit taste. Sounds like that's what it sounds like. It takes all my strength not to physically cringe. I mean, you can cringe at that. That's a terrible choice. No, he can't. <laughs> he doesn't have a mouth. He can't cringe at all. No, I don't. If she's really into anime, I don't feel like she'd be the kind of person to like be upset if you cringe at her favorite anime. I mean, it probably won't be the best because we've just consistently called her weirdo every time we've met. Yeah, well, no, no, actually, and she likes you for it, so cringing at her favorite anime would just gain you points. <laughs> oh, we should watch it together sometime, and now you have to cringe at it, because otherwise she's going to make you watch it. <laughs> I have the box set of every season. How many seasons is it? Uh, too many. We should marathon it over a long weekend or something. God, she's adorable. So I at least her. five. I, I didn't have many feelings about her until this specific conversation, and now I love her already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe some other time. I really wish this game wasn't so fang-focused. I want to choose other characters. I mean, it has mod potential. I know there's at least one mod being worked on. Well, I, it's not the same. It, the writing won't be as good. I want, 
I want the persona scene where you can invite all the girls on the same date at the same time. <laughs> Which persona had that? Uh, persona 5, I think, was a scene where you get... You try to date all the girls, and then all the girls confront you at once. <laughs> Whoa. That sounds great that that's Honestly, actually an option. It's kind of surprising that it took them until Persona 5 to have that in there, because that's always been the running gag. The Persona it's either 5 or 4. I thought it was 5, but it could also be 4. I don't think it was 4. It never happened to me. I'll just block but my... I'm, I'm also always loyal in Persona games. Oh. <laughs> actually... Look at this guy being monogamous and shit. I, I, I'm honestly surprised at myself. I guess I shouldn't be because it fits me very well. But have you played 4? I, have I haven't not played any of the Persona games myself. I've been meaning to. The Persona games are like on my to-do list and either 4 or 5 are like the most recommended I hear to start off with. I haven't played I, any of them. Honestly, I feel like 3 is the best to start off with. But um... I, hear, I hear 3 is really hard for new players. Three is hard, but that's almost, I feel like, why it's best to start off with. So you get like, the, you, you hit the ceiling first of all, and then everything else you're good with? Well, because it's hard in a very procedural way. It's it, it, like four, it gets you. Four, it's hard to explain. <laughs> four feels like it's easier to soft lock in, get yourself into a situation where you're not strong enough and you can't progress anymore, like, because the way the time works in those games. That's an interesting three, uh, possibility. Soft locking in an RPG. Is, yeah, well, that's the interesting thing about Persona and part of the reason I love it. It's very Fire Emblem-ish that way. Same reason I like Fire Emblem, because the, it's like the whole game matters. It's not just like I'm playing through a bunch of fights, whatever. It's like you have to win the fights in I, ways that actually be smart to a degree. Yeah, because you have to have actually distributed your EXP effectively in Fire Emblem to have a good enough ending end game party to actually fucking beat the last level because in a lot of fire emblems the end game the final chapter is insane so the whole entire game matters for that purpose and persona is very similar in that way that like throughout the game there like are certain roadblocks that like because you know, like you, you're going through a whole year and once it gets to the date where that roadblock is if you haven't made yourself strong enough or already accomplished the roadblock well you lost the game Mm. Uh, but in that sense, Persona, th Persona 3 gives you so much time to do those things, and they are so instantly, seemingly difficult that you're like, shit, I gotta work hard at this. Whereas in Persona 4, it just fucking sneaks up on you, and you're like, well, I wasn't ready, and now I can't win. So 3 is better for getting adjusted to the mechanics. Though. Yes, exactly. I'll keep that in mind. I also heard like three is also a good like basically one and two are skippable is generally what I, I hear. Yeah. Should I either go for three, four, or five? Yeah. It's skipping games in a franchise? With what are you a five. casual? With four and five being more uh, casual friendly. But anyway, or beginner friendly, I should say. I feel like it would be a good thing to scream. Dude. A lot. Of I time. mean, I do have. I got SMT three, the the remaster. And I haven't gotten to it yet. I was going to stream that uh, as one of my next games, actually. I'm interested in them because... You know, if, it, if, it, if anyone's interested, you know, I, I stream over on Twitch, you know, just just, just saying, just saying. <laughs> uh, anyway, sorry so, for the sidetrack. That's fine. So I'll just block my calendar for this, uh, maybe for after the heat death of the universe. I am... It's, she's adorable. <laughs> Anyway, the show isn't for another half hour. I wanted to ask you before, what did you think of your furniture? What? F fortune. Oh, for fortune. <laughs> I can't read. I <laughs> oh, my furniture is great. There's this weird stand on my desk that one guy just won't stop obsessing over, but other than that, it's pretty good. It's, it's a conversation. Uh, I kind of forgot. You got the judgment. I mean, judging your anime pretty hard. Doesn't ring a bell. Uh, well, uh, how would you like another? God, you're so dark. Eh, I got time to kill. Sure. I don't know why I love her so. <laughs> she pulls her deck of tarot cards from somewhere. Where the fuck does she hide these things? Anyway, she fans the deck out. All right, hang on. I take one at random and show it to her. Uh, 
Oh my, inverted empress. You need to be wary about future negligence, Anna. The fuck does that mean? Ah, that's what the card says. Uh, gotta go. Not our stuff. We'll see you was at the show. Not na nature natural. calls. Nature calls. Okay. She flees in denim pissing fear. You. Well then. What was I doing? Oh yeah. I Why was she so afraid of that? Who knows. I step up to the stage to see the band's point of view. And then promptly trip. Why? Ah! Fuck! Due to negligence. He was negligent of where he was stepping. What the fuck was that? There's a loose cord over my foot. That's... Probably not good for the show. I stand up and wipe the dust from my pants. Trish is the organizer. Right now, she's giving Reed a lecture on why it's probably a bad idea to put cart fentanyl in the smoke machine. <laughs> hey, Trish! Trish looks over her shoulder, and Reed's face lights up. Can you come here a second? Trish sighs, points, her, points between her eyes and Reed's, and stomps over to the stage. Part of me must know how good of an ass Trish has. I mean, she's got a thick tail, so it's probably pretty decent. What do you want, Skinny? I just tripped That's a lot of... It is a very thick tail of two Cs. I just tripped on one of the wires up here. Sucks to be you. Bitch. Should I plug them all into a surge protector so you guys don't fall during the concert? What? No, of course not. We won't trip. I have that on good authority. Who's? Oh my god, did she get a... Oh. Reeds. Hmm. And you trust his word on something like this. Sure. He's the expert on this stuff and all. Before I can object, Trish turns away and runs after Reed, who is huddled over the smoke machine, pungent fumes wafting from its exposed innards. Cool. Well, seems like he's got that handled. Trish seems pretty confident that Reed knows what he's doing with the stage. But Reed obviously doesn't understand cable management. Uh. Well, she yeah, just warned us to be careful of, of negligence. Yeah. I would say, I would Leave say, the stage. No, fix the cables. Yeah, fix the cables. Frisch is just being a control freak again. It could be a serious hazard if I leave them like this. Like a fire hazard or something, I think. A control slut. I'll just put them all on one of Moe's surge protectors. And done. Now that that's taken care of, I glance at the pizza-themed clock on the wall. 30 minutes until the show starts. Just wait Go to talk to Stella! I bet, I bet we're going to get fucked one way or the other, but it's curious to see how this one's going to fuck us over. The band is doing one last sound test. Reed's bass, bass drum bearing another new logo for a reverb drama that doesn't look half bad. Shima, you almost make me regret my decision, because in that case, we're going to get fucked either way, then I'd rather it not be our fault. <laughs> we'll go and find out. Trish has I a way- That's just how I read these visual novels. No matter what choice you make, you made the wrong one. Trish has a wicked grin on her face, and I can practically see the dollar signs in her eyes. Can't tell if she's doing this for the music or the money. And Fang... Fang looks anxious, hands wringing the strap of her hollow-body electric guitar. I consider what I'm about to do extremely stupid, but hasn't stopped me before. Hey! She jumps a little as I step back on stage. Her knuckles are bright white as they strangle the leather strap. She 
Shiba. I know, I was just thinking about it. <clears throat> hey. The secret is a support! It's a support! This is a support! I offer her my most supportive smile. You've got this, Fang. I don't feel like I do, though. Oh, hey, Lamau Brothers. Thanks for stopping in. You do. You've been practicing all month for this. And you've improved immensely since your last gig. I have complete faith in your ability to play guitar. Don't worry so much. Just don't fret about it. You'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> just, just that laugh. But remember your threats. Trish rolls her eyes. Reed's vacant stare has a bit of approval. <laughs> nice, dude. At least it wasn't a dinosaur pun this time. Oh, so the, the fret thing was on purpose. <laughs> I'm not that unfunny. You are. You really are. You don't, you don't even have a face. Fuck you, I'm hilarious. No, you're no not. No one thinks that, loser. <laughs> Don't you have something to be triggered about? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, <come on>. What? <laughs> you can't use that word. That's our word. Just did. Want to see me do it again? Ladies, ladies, ladies. Come on, please. You're both beautiful. And shut the fuck up. We've got sweet music to play. Showtime! What is the R? Like, what? Who, whose word is trigger? Oh! Triceratops. Yeah, Triceratops. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> I, keep, I keep thinking that he means like trigger, like trigger warning. Or like. I mean, I think that's half the joke for that one. Yeah. I take my eyes off the stage to get a read on the crowd. Easily a good hundred people showed up to see for Verm drama. Better than any of us expected. The look on Fang's face when everyone began filtering into the restaurant was priceless. They were on the last song of the night, the bizarrely long name of which I missed. I just got it! I was gonna say, what if that's the actual name of the song? The bizarrely long name of which I missed. <laughs> Just gotta ask. That's our last piece for the night, folks. Why is Hitler riding my bike <laughs> pretending to be a monkey? Is that like the lyrics of the song? Oh, right. Reed definitely wrote this one. The band really has improved, as opposed to the booing and pointing at the audience. Is listening intent. Wait. As opposed to booing and pointing at the audience, it's listening to this. Yeah, th this is breaking my brain. Failure. <laughs> the whole game sucks. Zero out of ten. Wouldn't play again. And nobody has tripped so far. Three a.m. in the morning. That's a reference to something. As a fright on cue. Half the lights on stage cut out. Oh, shit. Trish drummed silently before giving a confused glance at the speakers. Damn it. Tuesday? Fang fell out of tempo with Reed's drums, stumbling over the end of the song. Damn it. It's silent. I began to clap, followed by several other patrons. <laughs> including Stella. Who looked seconds away from being curb stomped? Curb stomped? Yeah, curb stomped. What? You're Who's put on the curb curbs? and you're stomped. Who's like your head on the curb. Who knows? That's the fun. Half the lights are out, we can't tell. Rosa is on the other side of the room, too entranced by the music to care. My eyes scan the room before noticing Trish. The sheer vehement rage radiating from her, visibly distorting the air around her. Vehement? Fuck. My jaw aches as I picture myself in Stella's place, courtesy of one pissed off woman lit. Before I have the chance to escape, I hear my one saving grace. 
Oh, I so did Stella accidentally unplug something? No. Uh, maybe? I don't know. It sounded more like maybe Rosa was being chewed out by, by Trish there. Come oh. on! Come on! Fang reaches me before Trish leaves the stage, extending her hand for a high five. We did it! No thanks to that asshole! Oh no. What's wrong? Skinny sabotage the show! Rewrite? What rewrite? Well, we'll find out. I told him not to touch the wires, and look what happened! I was only trying to help. Trish holds up her hand to my face, waving the other around in grand gestures. You ruined the big finale! We missed our chance to make it big! Why is it that only my base cut out anyways? And you actively try- are you actively trying to ruin us? I told you Re knew what he was doing! Do you not trust him and I? Trio- Tears trickle down her sweat-glazed face. Is Thang really the only one here you care about? Aww. We exist too, you know! Oof. This hypocritical bitch! The sharp words cut right through me. Jeez, Trish, the show went great! Our first good concert! The crowd actually clapped this time! No thanks to him. I mean, I was the first one that started clapping and I got the ball rolling. Yeah, literally thanks <laughs> to you also, because you're the one that helped that <laughs> had them change their fucking instruments to something good, so and really, yeah, it's thanks to him. I didn't do it on purpose. Even though you deserved it. Jeez, Anon, take a chill pill. Before she could interrogate me further, Fang grabbed Trish on the arm. Trish, didn't you say you wanted to set up our merch? Trish winces, then gives a begrudging sigh, lowering her accusatory finger. Uh, you aren't worth it. Trish storms off, leaving Fang and I alone. And Reed, who was listening the entire time? Oh, dude. Just whoa. Anon, dude. You should really, like, trust others, you know? Like, it's like they say, trust is the building block of our economy or something. What? What? <laughs> there are two kinds of people in this world, dude. People who believe and people who trust. What the fuck? And you believed in something false. Your impulsiveness, man. Before I could comprehend, begin to comprehend Reed's capitalist sermon, my ears are assaulted by very Italian yelling. Mamma mia! See, it's a lot heavier than version three. Ah, oh, okay. Hi, you kids! It's me, Uncle Mo! Look at this here April, do all your little little trigger friend sold me. Reed's... What a happy little trigger. I've never seen such a happy little trigger in all of my life. Reed looks always jealous of Moe's new garb. Yeah, I'm so jealous of that new garb, dude. Nice threads, compadre. Hey, someone took my Hi. apron. Okay, that's oh. Get the back of the works, Jenny! You're out of the clock! God damn it! Why do I even keep you around here? You bubble the mushka! It, uh, looks nice, Uncle Mo. Anyways, are you all gonna be helping with the cleanup, yes? I look at the absolute mess around us. Fuck. An hour later, I'm stuck mopping up where the mosh pit once stood. 
As my mop head gains a tinge of red, I pray to God this isn't from Stella. Rosa wanted to stay and help clean, but... I'd feel more for sorry for Stella, but Rosa looked work looked capable of helping her. Mamma mia, why is Spanish and Italian have to stand for clothes and accents? <laughs> My god, that's a lot of... Marinara. Yeah, that's what I'll go with. I'm still like, not entirely following what the hell happened to Stella. Someone Stella was about Stella to curb stomp her. She Stella had a curb... Stella fucking fell back. Stella fell. She Stella fell down some stairs. Stella fell up. She got caught up in the mosh pit. Oh, okay. Fang and Trish are trying to d divide and carry out the stage. The mop really isn't getting much from the floor. Am I supposed to have a bucket or something? Yeah. Nah. Reed crosses right through the puddles, tracking grimy footprints without a care. Hey man, what do you think of the lyrics, dude? They're fine, but please, you're making a mess for me. What? What's making a mess for you? Never mind. I'm just walking, man. You can't just tell people where they can or can't walk. This isn't communist China. Oh, well, uh, that aside, what were you on two when you- kinds of people, There's two people, kinds of people in this world, man. Those who walk freely, and those who choose to tell others where they can walk freely. You gotta choose to be one of those, and you're making the wrong choice, man. What were you on when you wrote that? And are you still on it, and can I have some? Reed rubs his forehead, struggling to remember more than ten minutes ago. Uh, I don't know, man. Or maybe, but I also distinctly remember floating. You know, dude, I've been doing, we've been doing this since junior year, right? And this is the first show that, like, anyone's ever actually liked, dude. Wild. You've only been playing together for a year? You know what, man? Crazy how time flies. Whoa. I had no fucking idea time had wings, dude. <laughs> man, back then, Trish had all these crazy long horns and glasses. Oh. Now there's a thought. How would Trish even look with glasses? The horns. How did she like get extensions? Or maybe she uh, man, just they, they filed them down, dude. Some guys like girls with short horns. I do. I might be one of those guys. Actually, how would glasses even work on a triceratops? Fang wasn't Fang at the time. She, what? Uh, probably shouldn't have mentioned that. I'm sorry, dude. I'm, like, way too high to have a conversation right now. Fang wasn't herself? Honestly, that's probably something to be left for Fang and Fang alone to talk about, dude. Sorry. Ah, uh, right. I mean, it's probably just referring to the name change, which probably came with the quote-unquote gender change. Only thing that stayed the same was, like, me and my cafe, bro. How long has he been on that stuff? Uh, about 20 years. <laughs> 20 years? Wait. How long have you been in high school? Uh, about 40 years. <laughs> what? <laughs> nah, man, nah, man. I'm, I'm measuring it in mercury years. It's still a long time. I don't know how to take that. Mercury is like 60 days, I think. It was almost like a totally different time, man. She just taped extra horns over her own horns. Ah, there we go, that's how they got longer. Oh, what? Kinda want official art of Trish with glasses. I, I, I could see the... Oh, they could just be uh, armless, right? Because that's the issue, the frill. But how would they stay on? Oh, maybe like chains off the horns to hold them. Anyway, before I even got a moment to picture what it might have been like not even a year ago, Trish appears behind Reed. 
She looks like she's about to snap both our necks. Sorry, I was reading about Mercury. <laughs> I only mentioned because I'm on Mercury right now. Jesus. <laughs> on Mercury? The planet or... The... I hope the planet. Nah, man, if you put it right into your bloodstream, it's like, whoa. It's like death instantly. Actually, not instantly. Only the first time, then you get used to it and develop an immunity. To death. <laughs> yeah, you know, you just die once you get immune. Hey, Reed, what are you two talking about? Just talking about some memories of the band, Trish. And planets, apparently. You didn't tell him anything about me, did you? Like, about my horns? Glasses. Dude. Reed, you absolute ass. Dude. Traitor. Reed just shrugs. By this point, the restaurant has been mostly cleaned up, with only a few tables left to put back. Reed is going to remember that, dude. Hello! <laughs> yeah, we're... How do, how, do, how do the Triceratopses here? How do, how do any of them here? They probably have their ears on the inside, like birds. Maybe it's like one of those cute little glasses, like they don't have the things on the sides that go around your head. They're just like the little, the two little uh, eye pieces and then the bridge connecting them and it just goes over your nose. They especially work for Triceratops because they've got the horn in the way. The horn stabilizes it, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh yeah, yeah it, it can just clasp onto that. But I was more just at this point thinking about how they're listening at all. Do you question how owls listen when they don't have visible ears? I was about to add, I was about to shoot back how does Anon listen, but ears are actually one of the few facial features he does have. <laughs> so, Anon, we showed you ours. Now it's time to show us yours. Whip out your dick. <laughs> what? Out here in public? I didn't peg you for the kinky type. Trish inhales sharply, visibly trying to master herself. I meant with your old school. I mean, I can't carry a whole school out here, Trish. Come on. That's on a need-to-know basis. And you don't need to know. Come on, Anna. Don't you have any good memories from your old school? Oh, God, no. No. I really rather not talk about it. Why not? You've told me about your parents. That seemed to catch Trisha's attention. Ah, oh, shit. And that look of expectancy from Fang too. I, I guess it can't hurt. Well, I did try to get into music at one point. With how much you need my help in music class? Like I said, one point. I didn't say I was good at it. I was just clicking buttons and seeing what stuck. And spoiler, spoiler alert, nothing did. That got a giggle out of Fang, and a look from Trish. By the way, Anon, I saw you talking to that Stella girl before the concert. You had something going on there? I'm not subtly trying to do anything I can to make you and put something between you and Fang. I feel a pit in my stomach as a look of betrayal crosses Fang's face. Right into Trisha's trap. Hook, line, sinker, and rod. And yet, nine, non, nope, nine, mayo, none of that, no. Inai! Nine? Inai! 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 I do not have a thing for incontentia. Incontinentia. Who? I thought we were talking about what's her face. I guess she's call calling, her, calling her incontinent. Yeah, because we talked to her in the bathroom and then she had to run off really quickly saying nature yeah. calls. Yeah. I thought we were talking about what's her face and maybe her sister so and so. The one with the dino dual cards. Oh, I thought those were pocket raptor cards. Weren't they just hand aid cards? Uh, moving on. Anyone back home you had your eye on then? Nobody at rock bottom was worth the time. 
God, this this music is starting to remind me of an old Nintendo 64 game that I have that I played. But I can't remember. No. Right about now, which time we rock was a deep. I want to say uh, either Tetrisphere or IGPX. Hold, on, let let me lick my shelf quickly. Bump to the bump to the bump to the base. Bump to the boom to the bump. Yeah, either Tetrisphere or XG2, because both those games had like a future funk vibe to them with their music. I remember Tetrisphere having a music like that. Tetrisphere, in my memory, was like kind of like soothing. Hmm, maybe I misremember. I mean, I haven't played that game since I was probably like eight, so maybe it's more yeah, X XG2 I'm thinking I of. Entranced by Tetrisphere as a concept, and I actually liked it. I don't remember. I did not know how to play Tetris, so I definitely did not know how to play Tetrisphere. I just remember somehow getting through levels and being like, oh, this is cool. Yeah. I think that was the first N64 game I actually saved up money for to buy instead of just renting games all the time or getting them as gifts for birthday or Christmas. I just liked the vision. Yeah, it was the visuals of that game were name. Yes, visuals were. Yeah. Right. Apparently, in older drafts, Stella was going to have stronger presence in the story as a gag character that always needed to run off to the bathroom. Oh. Oh, in content. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I even said it already. Was, I, I, yeah, I get that, but maybe that if they had kept that in more. Because so far we've only run into that joke. Twice. Twice, I think. Nature calls and she had trouble going to the bathroom earlier. I think that's the only ones I can remember at least. more Stella. Fang's face softens. Almost a, in a silent, silent sigh of relief. Is there hope for I mean, me yet? Stella likes everything he likes. It's perfect. I mean, he doesn't like Precure. Well, that's fair. Rock bottom, huh? I don't think you've ever told us where you're from before. Shit! Oh my god. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, I, I haven't, huh? Who really cares where you went to last? Yeah, man, it's just a school. I think I saw it in the Spongebob episode. Was it in the sticks? Not exactly. It, it was certainly lower class, though. I used to buy bulk soda and sell them to the stupid kids for lunch money. Yo, my man! Reed gives me a fist bump. I'd usually just go places on a crappy dirt bike, leaving donuts in parking lots when I was sure nobody was looking. Sounds like you were pretty cool at your last school. Ha! I don't know about that. Sure, man. I don't get why you left in the first place if you had it so good. I mean, you had donuts. You had so many donuts you could just leave them in the parking lot without anybody caring? Oh, no. He's doing donuts. Oh, uh, actually... Think of something, think of something, think of something! Uh, I had to leave because of, uh... Bullying. Don't, don't say something stupid, you only get one shot at this. Family issues. That, that was so stupid. Nailed it. Other man. Glad you're here instead. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, man. Sounds personal. Guess we shouldn't pry. I guess we shouldn't, but I'm going to. We're all friends here, after all. Guess we are all friends at this point. To varying degrees. She's pretty forgiving on the whole amp thing. I let a content smile creep up onto my face. Ah, you stupid the kids! Get out of my kitchen! We're closed! <laughs> the Tyrannosaurus stomps over to us from the kitchen. That's horrifying. The job again onto the show, ya punks! I knew my little Lucy could have pulled a shindy golf! He claps one of his tiny hands down on Fang's shoulder as she reflexively tries to hide her face with a wing. Ah, uh, expecting a late night to visit us, so I needed you punks to piss off! <laughs> Come on a buy for a slice sometime, yeah? I'm giving you a discount! Thanks, Mo! Zero percent! 
Oh. Yeah, man. Thanks a bunch. Now a scramble, you skins. I've got the different kinds of cleanup to deal with. Somebody's going to die tonight. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> and repressing that. You thought that you could have fucking with the Uncle Mo. The T-Rex dick. The T-Rex Mafia. A few weeks later. Things have cooled off since the concert back in February. There's no major events coming up, so the days have gotten longer. The weather has started to warm up as well. Each morning, I've been walking through a thick blanket of fog that always dissipates by lunchtime. That just sounds kind of comfy. Yo, I, the other day, like, the day started, like, 70 degrees, and then by the time I was leaving work, it was, like, in the low 40s. And I walked outside, and I was like, where'd the world go? It, it was just fog. It was insane. I, I just, I just like the feel of foggy wilderness. Yeah. Like, I, 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 like, I kind of live in the middle of nowhere, so there's a lot of trees around. So just seeing a foggy woods just right outside your window is like, man, this is kind of cool. Just feel, get that isolation feel. What does fly over like mean? Like the middle states, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a drastic, it's a drastic shift compared to the hot, cold binary of flyover life. Maybe I should ditch the jacket soon. No, there's no way I'm showing the world just how much of a linklet I am. I mean, the drawing doesn't suggest that. Yeah, he's he, fucking ripped in the he, drawing. He, he's, he's bunching up. He's, he's bunching up his sh the, the sleeves. Even if it means being grilled alive. Hey, Xana, you look like you're dying right now. The sun can go fuck itself. Fang chuckles and pats my back as I lean over my desk. On second thought, tank tops seem cool. Reed is usually wearing one. Alright, class. The principal's got something to say. Then you'll be leaving early. With that, we were all directed to the auditorium. I'm tired of doing this voice. It's not even a good one. Ah, it's great. People love it. <laughs> we didn't have assigned seating, so I immediately thought of sitting with Fang. Knowing better than to look through the oceans of students, I followed my nose to read. The fetid <laughs> raptor was sitting in the very last row with Trish. Yeah. Uh, dude. Reed's bellow easily eclipses everyone else. God, just look at those goggles. I wave back, hurrying past my awestruck classmates to, re to claim my rightful throne. Hey, guys. Save you some seats. I take a glance over to see Trish pouting. Oh, fuck, he found us. The last students trickle in through the doors and take their seats. Mr. Mr. Carl Dulwiski takes the stage with an electronic mic. All right, frickin' settle down, kids. We got a special frickin' announcement from the frickin' principal. We got frickin' midterms coming up, and he frickin' feels the need to give you all a frickin' pep talk. The audience collectively groans. That's <laughs> the weirdest fucking choice. The Carl Whiskey. <laughs> Fang and Trish throw their heads back. And he's a math teacher, remember? On cue, Principal Spears takes the stage. Mr. Carl, Carl Whiskey holds the microphone out to get him. Uh, holds the microphone out to him, but gets ignored. The student body covers their ears in preparation. Oh, for you little punks. But the man said we have in terms to deal with in just a few weeks. We don't want to see any of you slacking. Only the best efforts will be allowed. These scores may not affect your overall grade, so many of you may decide to disregard them. Yes, I will. Honestly. It's a weak mindset. 
Put that in the can put in the can and we'll trap you. These tests are for you to see if you're on the right track or not. I expect you all to ace these exams because Volcano High is the best school there is. And I teach the best students there are here at Volcano High. Are there any questions? Judging by the dead silence, there wasn't any. The principal gives the single approving nod and exits stage right. That's somehow adorable. <laughs> Alright, you kids, you're free to frickin' go. With that, the sea of students begins to funnel out of the auditorium. The four of us wait until the auditorium is half empty before getting up and making our way to the door. Our motley crew makes it to the front lawn of the school, and Reed falls flat on his back in the freshly mowed grass. Later, guys. What, what do you mean later? <laughs> his breathing becomes a rumbling snore. <laughs> Just off to dreamland. So, Fang, are you actually gonna study? Uh, we can go to the library, there shouldn't be anyone there. We can be alone together. Oh. Eh, I don't think I'm allowed there anymore. Wasted too much bandwidth. Oh god. Fuck using my own data to pirate all those games I'll probably never play. I wasn't asking you, douche. I just kind of want to go home. Hey, talk to you later, Fang. Yeah. Later. And fuck you, Anon. I didn't even do anything this time. <laughs> fuck her. Whatever. See you Monday, Fang. It's been like, love you. <laughs> Before I could turn away, Fang's hand catches the sleeve of my unnecessary sweater. <laughs> Actually, I was thinking. Let's fuck. Huh? Fang's grip loosens on my arm, leaving her hand to rest on my forearm. Wanna, like, study at my place? I kinda need help with science. Oh, the dinosaur biology. doesn't know science? Sure, wait. Won't your dad make me into a hunting trophy? I don't think you're that good of a catch. No offense. Ow. My ego. Actually, all of the offense. Ow. Scrawny. Besides, he's working a late night shift tonight, and my mom should be out clothes shopping or something. Again. It's okay, Anon. You're just going to Fang's house. Alone. Just the two of us. Bill Withers, shut the fuck up. Holy fuck. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. So how are we going to get to your place? Gonna fly. Hit the bus. We can make it to the last one if we run. If we, we can make it if we try. <laughs> oh, God. Fuck uh, yourself, Bill Withers. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> We can make a ma we make a mad dash to the last bus. That Oops. wasn't just made for like people. That was made for specifically people streaming and trying to make a joke and <laughs> catching them on it. <laughs> I mean, we've done that a lot with pretty much every game we group stream. No, but like that one, it didn't even actually make the joke. It literally set up someone else to make the joke and then called them out on making the joke. <laughs> oh. Like, it never act the, the screen never said we can make it if we try. It just set up for someone to make that joke, and I did. And then it... <laughs> the writers are playing some 4D chess here. Yeah, that was insane. I'm sweating like hell by the time we get there. Made worse by the fact I'm still wearing my jacket. Take it off. S still must not take off. Must not expose skeleton arms. <laughs> These fucking rip. <laughs> After a little while of being simultaneously fried alive and bathed in sweat, we finally make it to Fang's place. I obviously thank the bus driver again. Wait, 
alone with Fang? At her place? Bill Withers begins to blare inside my head again. God, just fuck off. Fuck! Come on, Anon. We can study in my room. All right. <laughs> Fang's room. Oh, man. It's been a while since I noticed the alarms. Sh sure. Lead the way. What were you going to say, Hinkle? I, I, I mean, really just... All right. <laughs> but also, my alarms are always on. I just ignore them. <laughs> all the time. Fang climbs the steps while I trail behind, weary of any hidden fathers laying in wait to ambush me. You know, uh, this is actually just a fascinating side question anyway. I, I feel like I might have already asked this before. But you know how you, you have you seen Inside Out? That's uh, the one with the emotions, right? Yeah. I've seen part of it. Uh, with, there's various points where you get uh, brief views into other people's brains. And mm -hmm. you see that, like, with each brain, it looks like a specific emotion is the one in charge of everyone. Like, for the main character, it's joy. But for, like, the mom, it's sadness. And, and that doesn't Oof. mean she's a sad person. It just means that, like, I, I don't... It's hard to explain. Like, um, for the dad, it's anger. He's not. He's definitely not angry. He's a very calm person. I, I guess it's sort of like the one you're comfortable in, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, I was just. Which one would you say would be in charge of your brain? In mine. Yeah. I don't know. Probably. I would say probably Joy. Where were you going with uh, this? <laughs> well, it came to my. The question came to mind because fear would definitely be the one at the controls for me. Uh, uh, probably, probably for me, it'd probably be black, uh, fucking Jack White's his name? Jack anger. Black? What? Oh. No, no. Yeah, I think Anger would be in control of mine. You think I that's think called that. tinnitus? Oh, yeah. That would be the bells. Also, hey, PB Pixel. Anger, Thanks for really stopping in. Not. Anger surprises me. You know, I say, that, I say that a lot, and people always get surprised. I don't know. I mean, I'm not too surprised. There was that time you lost your voice when you're screaming over the 4chan cup last year. I let I let anger reign a lot when I'm not in front of other people. <laughs> That's fascinating. I just huh. sad. Very. Sadness equals empathy. Anger equals protectiveness. Oh, you know, for parents, I could see that working out. Yeah, I can see that too. Because there's spectrums off of each core emotion. I'm not saying like I'm scared all the time. I'm just saying that like you're paranoid. You're a conspiracy yeah. theorist. Well, no. <laughs> but like, I just feel like I mean, I guess I am scared all the time. I just don't let it be fear. Remember, being afraid isn't bad. It's letting that control you, which it is. Or bravery is be still being afraid but facing it. Despite yeah. so, like I'm nervous during every conversation, like right now. I'm gonna stop talking. Why do you gotta be nervous? You don't have a giant pterodactyl dad ready to kill you at any moment's notice. She holds a door. There's, oh. Well, there's always a figurative giant pterodactyl. <laughs> the giant pterodactyl in your heart. <laughs> she holds a. I have a condition. <laughs> <laughs> Doctors are baffled. Yeah. They don't know how it got in there. She holds a door open to a pitch black room, and I tentatively step in. Ah, a home sweet home. Anon's leading emotion would be a Saturnia Ducky Makara. I don't think that's an emotion. Yeah, it's uh. It's one of the advanced ones. You know, like how they start combining emotions at the end of the movie? It's one of the more. It's one of the fifth well, level ones. That's just for the. the memories though it's that it doesn't they don't make more of themselves yes but if it could combine them into making the spheres why couldn't it make more emotions that'd be an interesting sequel but <laughs> we are but we already seen inside other people's heads there's still not new ones it's just well anon is special but anon uh is a special little boy i definitely think anon would also be fear sounds like it yeah but, but anon worse. would be fear this anon would be fear. yeah but worse at controlling it than me he's his fear controls him way too much also, I just, there's a lot to take in with this room, but the one I like the most is the Hannah Montana Link Linux laptop. 
<laughs> How is that handled on Tana? There, there is an actual branch of Linux that is Hannah, specifically Hannah Montana themed throughout, and it looks like this. Interesting. Also, that's a last unicorn poster in the back. Yeah. And you got uh, Dino, Dino, which I guess is Dio. Uh, Megalodon, I, I guess that would be Megadeth, maybe? I don't know what Wheelhead would be. She also draws on her wall a lot, which makes I actually I guess it could be that uh, like chalk walls. Stuff. Yeah, they make they make chalk paint, which would yeah. be kind of cool. Like I remember here as a kid hearing about uh, a wall paint that's magnetic, so like you could paint it, then paint a color, and then you could stick magnets to your wall. And I, as a kid, I was like, oh man, that's so awesome, but never never really did it. Fang is definitely uh, Fang. She could be disgust. That's the funny thing. I can't imagine a person who would be controlled by disgust but fang comes close fang strikes me as one that comes by being disgust yeah. i mean there was that look at the start actually god anon might be disgust he <laughs> hates everyone <laughs> true i could i could see that because everyone else is a fucking normie yeah fang flips on the lights and i'm not quite sure what i expected the black walls are covered with various band posters. The spaces in between covered by what I assume are lyric ideas written in chalk. Oh, that's cool. A few guitar stands and a keyboard in the corner, below a non-binary flag hanging on the wall. I don't see the non-binary flag. Uh, above the bed here. Oh, oh, it blends so well, actually. Fang throws her bag off to the side and picks up a guitar, strumming a few chords. I plant my hands in my pockets nonchalantly, looking around for a chair or something. It's not on the floor, dweeb. Wow, not even a beanbag chair? For you, no. What kind of lazy teenager are you? <laughs> the kind that has expendable guitars within arm's reach. Fair enough. I use my backpack as a makeshift backrest. So she's just bragging about her fortune. What's the, what's the guitar for, anyways? Playing music. It's a butt for. I mean, aren't we supposed to be studying? Or are we doing music first? Um, this is just how I get ready for studying. Strumming along puts me at ease. Fang picks up a spare guitar from a shelf. She begins. Oh, no, she wasn't. I just realized she wasn't like ragging on her being so rich as to have expendable guitars. She was saying she had something to hit Anon with within arm's reach. Yes. It was a, it was a threat of violence, yeah. not making fun of his social class. Yeah, that's Naomi's job. I, I'm trying to figure out if it's makeup or she just has very conveniently and pretty scales around her eyes. The blue so. is so. natural pattern. The orange and purple are makeup. Door. All right. She begins playing a short riff that I recognize from one of the Verm Drama songs, smiling and relaxing as she goes on. Like my own personal concert. When the song is finished, Fang gives an expectant glance my way. I smile and give a tasteful nod. You want to try? Fang takes off the guitar strap and extends it for me to play. And I make nothing but awful sounds. <laughs> or that her beanbag chair money went into more guitars. Uh, that's that's fair. Yeah, instead, I always... instead of buying chairs, she buys guitars. Not comfortable to sit on, but they got more uses. Like hitting, like hitting I I ignorant re <laughs> <laughs> Like hitting <laughs> ignorant and on the thin arm break. I'm not sure what she expects me to do. But I could give it a shot. Though, aren't we supposed to be studying for midterms? The scores may not affect your overall grade, so maybe I disregard them. It's a weak mindset. You're weak, you idiot. God damn it, I'm trying to avoid <laughs> doing the voice! <laughs> These tests are for you to see if you're on the right track. Hmm. 
Is it really alright to slack off? Get to studying, fuck. Let's try, uh, I don't know. Because it seems important to her. Maybe play the guitar. Fuck her! <laughs> yes, that's what we're trying to do here! That's the idea, that's the end goal! Uh, sh I want to date Stella! <laughs> fuck Stella! Yeah! Actually, uh, it's not even about the sex, it's just she's adorable and I want her to be happy. Or get to studying. Uh, I'll go for get for studying on this one because I guess that is a good idea. Yeah, I mean. Maybe it also plays off maybe Anon's a little quirky and a little shy. And she'll like that. She'll like Shine On. Also, like, you know, be a good influence on her. She is sort of on the edge of being a, a junkie. Yeah, so maybe, maybe, maybe she'll appreciate someone pulling back her. What's the word I'm looking for? Procrastinations. Yeah. No. I should focus more on my midterms. I'd rather get started with studying, actually. Fang lowers her arm with the guitar in rejection. <laughs> Come on, Fang. You know I can't afford to waste my time here with all the money my family spent already. Yeah, yeah, you only got this one shot and all. Oh, hey, Gexahord. Uh, thanks for you stopping in. One yeah, minute. these guys are studying. Do not miss your chance to blow. Fine. What are we doing first? Hey, I enjoy the uh, feeling of making someone begrudgingly be responsible. Eh. The fine is a very cute thing to me. There you go. Now you're coming around to her. Why not science first, since that's your hardest subject? Ugh. The textbook. What happened to yours? Anyone... What? <laughs> and someone is said, Anon okay. missing the biggest softball toss in history. <laughs> this is me being a very sig socially ignorant person. I don't know what he means by this. Well, obviously, he's got skeleton arms, so Anon can't hit a softball. Anon's just playing the long game. He's missing this shot to get the pitcher uh, getting too confident for when he needs to strike out. What happened to yours? I don't I see throwing. why this this is a miss, to be I honest. Tried throwing it at Nazar and it flew over the cliff. H how? Why? Cliff? I don't know. I just felt like it. It felt good. You got a textbook or not? Yeah. I retrieved the tome from my backpack. Science is easily the heaviest thing in there. So what? We take turns reading it? Too slow. Let's just huddle and read it together. Why not just switch it back and forth? I don't feel like it. Are we reading it or not? Fang sits beside me on the ground her oversized beak obscuring a good portion of the side of the page in my peripheral vision. I could feel the prickle of her feathers barely brushing against my back. This is adorable. We're on chapter 16, right? Yeah, see? Winged waifus are the best. Turn to page 374. <laughs> 18. Are you even paying attention during class? What do you think I hang out with you for? Oh, Big ooh. true. We read about electric currents for in, in silence for a few minutes. How do I know what she's done so I can turn the page? I don't listen in science. I have people to do that for me. You, your people. <laughs> y you done? Oh, I wasn't reading it. <laughs> <laughs> she's really trying hard. No! <laughs> Now I I can see it. There you go. Welcome to the club. <laughs> ah, fuck you. Ha, <laughs> you wish. Don't read it that. Don't read it that. If I read the first page out loud, would you read the second? Sure, sure. Fang leads back onto the floor, hands behind her head. Look, the thing is, it's a lot more obvious in fiction. I've had people in real life I thought were definitely into me. 
and then turns out they weren't. So, no. No hint is enough. I could until get that. Absolute, until it's right verbose, right in your face. Do not yeah. assume anything. Literally say it, or else I'm going to pretend like it wasn't a hint. Started it already. Ugh. In conductors, electrons are free to move around and flow easily. This is not true for insulators, in which the... I don't know how to make that sound. <laughs> it's, sort of, it's sort of like... Electrons are more tightly bound to the nuclei, which we'll discuss Excellent. next. When current is applied, move electrons move... Uh, I think it might be a snore. No, I think it's supposed to be. I don't know if, if my sound went through or not. Nah. I went like. It's sort of like the sound Ernie makes when he laughs, or yeah, Ernie. But like, ah, uh, yeah. I'm not sure if it's coming through because the thing's not lighting up. Is that coming through? I I, I, heard, I think I heard something. Snark. That's, that's just snark. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Fang! I'm trying to read to you here. Cut that out. Like. Stop trying it's to be like, Ernie from Sesame Street. It's like the sound you make when you're like beginning to laugh. <laughs> I'm trying to say, I'm trying to make it, but it's not coming through. Oh no, it is she, supposed to be snoring. She really right. did pass out. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Z's probably would have been better, Bongo. Yeah. Hmm. Terrible game, completely unplayable. Also, wow, that sound that sound works up a lot of phlegm. Fang, seriously, get up or I'll poke you. <laughs> Four more minutes. Four more minutes. <laughs> Don't think I won't, Fang. These guns are cocked and loaded. Target locked. Weapons hot. <laughs> Battery one. We have like <laughs> two A's and then cut off. What the fuck? I just mentioned like yeah. a cartoon, she just shoots up in the air out of sight. Ha! Ah, the... Is that making sounds? I'm just curious. Yeah. There you go. Through. You got that time. Quit falling asleep during class. <laughs> My room, I'll do what I want. Come on, I'm trying Maybe to take I'm this here. I'm home! Oh shit. Jump out the window! <laughs> Lucy! Nazer! Are you here? I got your face! <laughs> I got. Sorry. Dino nuggies! My tendies! She brought tendies home, Anna! <laughs> uh, I mean, those are for Nazer. Why? <laughs> they have dino nuggies in the dino world. What, what? Don't you want to eat little tiny needy copies of yourself? <laughs> sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Can't read <really. laughs> I need to recover from dino nuggies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that hit me so hard. My <laughs> tendies! She made tendies, Anon? Chicken nuggets. I've been a good girl, so mommy made me nuggies. <laughs> <laughs> she is the goodest girl. Hello, anyone home? I hear footsteps getting progressively closer as Fang's mother searches for any sign of life in the house. A door down the hall opens. Sweetie? Oh, Nazar? Oh, I guess you must be bowling with Mo again. Tri Tricer attendees, preferred brand of moody teenage tarots nationwide. <laughs> Tricer attendees. Well, they, ju they just make separate bag. You can get the bag of mixed species or a bag of a specific species. People get into fights over which ones taste better. If she likes Triceratendies, that would be an indicator that she's into fresh. I wonder if they are chicken nuggets or dino nuggets. 
Also, well, they just said it's Dino Nuggies. What? Looking for some boobs? Try Sarah's titties. Tendies. <laughs> Try Sarah titties. <laughs> That's their titties. Okay. And on, you need to leave now. Lucy, are your headphones in again? I'll open the window. Just jump. Use your wings and fly down. Oh, shit. This is the second floor. Broken bones are better than... Oh, Lucy, there you are. I didn't realize your boyfriend was over to visit. Fuck. What? Fang's hands cover her bright red face. I wasn't aware their beaks got red, too. Huh. Um, he's not... What did I just say about... What did we, what did we talk about knocking? I think you and little Nazzy need to knock on our door. <laughs> Knock on our door at night when it's your parents' special time. You said. Oh, sweetie, that's no way to talk to your mother, especially in front of a guest. The tiny tarot turns to me with an apologetic smile. Since you're here, why don't you stay for dinner? You can be our dinner. Oh no. Something tells me Fang's dad would make me the dinner. I already made the joke. Beef stroganon does not sound palatable to me. Stroganon. Surely he was just leaving. Like, now. Immediately. Oh, but I wanted to show him your baby pictures. I wanted to show him how to make your baby. <laughs> Fang is a pathological jumping injury instigator. Fang, fire, die, Aaron. Oof. Right now, in fact, he's gonna miss his bus. I have one with me right now. Why do you have one with you right now? I she just, I carry one with me always. She reaches elbow deep into her purse and pulls out a small flip book. I have a huge purse! Oh, Lucy, this is my favorite little picture of you and Nazar! Uh, I'm just noticing. Look how. Look at the size difference between uh, Fang's elbow feathers and, and her mom's. It's massive. Damn. Is her last name Aaron? Oh, I guess it would be. Yeah, because yeah, of the, the right. Samantha. Samantha Aaron, yeah. <laughs> Boy, at least Ridley doesn't have to deal with his in laws. Ha yuck yuck. <laughs> <laughs> She shoves the photo in my face that I immediately make out as a bathtub with an infant fang and Nasser playing in the water. Well, it, it is kind of cute. Before I was going to make a joke and please let it be a picture of them in the bathtub together because they already talked about that earlier, and it is. <laughs> Before I could open my mouth, fang jabs me in the ribs. Oh my god, mom, he doesn't have time for this. So he has a chronic brain injury and he needs to go to the hospital right now. My... Hey, what are you talking about? I don't friend, have Dane Bramage. I had a, I actually, I should, I guess I had a friend who, uh, whenever, I, at his house, his parents had on the wall, in the hallway, where all their bedrooms were, a picture of him as a baby, completely naked, and his ass is like the most prominent part of the picture. And it, uh, to be clear, this is not like some candid photo. It's like on a completely white background, like a, professional, a professionally taken photo. And it's really big. How, how, how old was he in the picture? Like literally an infant. Oh, well then, I mean, if he's literally a baby, I've had... Oh, I'm sorry, you I said mean, like I, it wasn't a candid I, picture? I'm probably like one or two years old. Two years old, I'm almost two years old. I mean, it's one thing... You know, the innocent, oh, I'll show baby photos of my children, and, you know, they're in the tub. But to have one framed on the wall just raises some questions. Really big, and again, I can't express enough that this is not a candid photo. It's not like, oh, look, he's in the bathtub. This is literally a professionally taken photo. Like, it, like they took him to a studio, took his clothes off, 
and was like, yes, take pictures of my naked baby. That's... So I can hang them in the hallway at our house and show them to all the people that come through our house. Everyone must see baby it. Boy. No, that is a little, that is, that is more than a little weird to me. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I understand, like, having photos of your kid as babies to, like, share with your yeah, personal it's family. It's what I think of whenever, like, in fiction, they're like, look at the embarrassing baby photos. I think of that, and I'm like, yeah, that's that's a possibility. He has a brain injury, smashes Anand over the head with one of, his, hit, with one of her hitting guitars. We gotta get him to the hospital right away. See, he's bleeding. We gotta get him out of here right now. If it's her baby photo, doesn't that mean it's her as an egg? Well, no, I would think a baby implies he's... They're uh, already born. Yeah, they're already born. Oh, also, I think that's the other question of, since they're anthro, do they give live birth or eggs? If they do not have a cloaca, they do not give birth to eggs. I'm yeah. just saying that now. That makes yeah. more sense. If they give birth to eggs, they have cloacas. End of I story. Mean, Nazar... Kind of implied that it would be possible for Anon and Fang to have kids, so uh, they got memories, so maybe they give life birth. Yeah, that's the best thing to go with. Yeah. Damn it, then they don't have cloacas. <laughs> Wait, damn it. Oh man, it looks like the scaly just outed himself. Says the guy playing the dino visual novel. Yeah, I'm not that into Chloe, because this is I only want to fuck dinosaurs. I don't know why, but I only need to fuck dinosaurs. I want to hump reptiles. <laughs> they got shit in there, man. Fang pulls me off the ground and begins to push me towards the door. <laughs> go, 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 go. We're leaving. Uh, I, I, lo well, I, I love I that. I, you know what? This is... This could be Fang strategically doing. I'm mean, sorry, Fang's mom strategically doing exactly this, getting Fang to willingly get Anna on out of here. <laughs> oh, it was all a fucking five-dimensional chest there by Fang's mom. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed spending time with my little tooth fairy, Anna. See, that sounds like such a. I like, mean, you, you gotta pick up some tricks while you're traveling the galaxy. You're welcome back any time you'd like. See, she's taking, she's attacking it from the other angle. She's, she's making it what Fang doesn't want. <laughs> Instead of threatening them, just make them cringe so hard they want to leave. Yeah. I, ah, that's a smart threat. That's, uh, that works much better than her dad's. Yeah. I manage a weak wave as Fang continues to rush me towards the door in embarrassment. We reach the front door, and she quickly turns back inside. Okay, bye. See you soon. To school, Anon. I hear the door slam behind me, and I'm left alone on the porch. Please leave before the dad comes home. <laughs> well, that was in interesting. She took your science book. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Those are expensive. I guess I'll go away at the bus stop. Does Fake's mom really think I'm her boyfriend? I know we spent a lot of time together. Fang seemed really quick to deny that, though. Does it mean anything? Bzz, bzz, bzz. A, a text? Shit, that's rare. Oh shit, it's actually a bee in my ear! <laughs> hey. About earlier. Sorry about Mom. Just ignore anything she says. Ever. Also, don't tell anyone what you saw. Anyone. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. <laughs> I have my dad on speed dial. Five bucks. <laughs> Lil JK. Lil JK. <laughs> Shit, I keep thinking I see Fang. Gobble a knob. I too, Gobble a gob. I too always think I see Fang. Only if it's yours. See you Monday. Dang it, he didn't say it. See ya. <laughs> nah, you knob gobbler. The bus hasn't gotten here yet. He's not good at the banter. Well, she doesn't have a knob to gobble. Well, I guess there's uh, a snoot. It, sorry, who did this voice? I think this was you. Yeah. Oh yeah, this was this was the southern. All right. <laughs> Yo, you're that kid with the date from eight, from before, ain't you? Uh huh. I flip around to see the street vendor from a few weeks ago. You remember me? Yeah, it's weird. 
Kid, I've been working this corner for the better part of two years now. I know all the tell. I know how to tell. What well, I can't read. I know how to tell face the part. Plus, this ain't exactly the skinny part of town, you know. I guess. Well, hey, skinny, if you're with, with if you're selling food here, <laughs> I'll go. Yeah, you know, a lot of these slurs are pretty fucking confusing when you think about it. Skinny, trigger, they're already words. How do we know which one we're trying to say? It's are a you question. trying to trigger me? <laughs> you I'm just... very sensitive about my weight. <laughs> you just get back from another date? Well, I was, I was just thinking... I was wondering, is that tear in her pants? But no, she's wearing a skirt, so she just has, like, gems embedded into her leg. She is a crystal gem. She's here to save the day. And if you think you she can't, well, then that makes you gay. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, it was a study session. Why am I telling you this? Yeah, a study <laughs> session. I know all about those. I get you. No, it really was just studying. Fang tried to get me to play the guitar, but I made sure to keep on track. Studying that ass. <laughs> you what? I, like, I just like the, f the fade to the frown. Hmm? Kids these days. She was coming on to you, dummy. Oh! No, nope, she didn't say it. Doesn't count. That is my rule. Fuck! Oh. Still, point stands! What's that? I was right! <laughs> no, that's the lawyer and the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> I feel some sort of anger coming from another universe. <laughs> it's taken me over. By the way, that wasn't your ride, was it? I look back to see the tail end of the city bus rounding the corner onto the next street. Next one comes in 45 minutes. Shut up and give me a danger, dog. Well, someone knows their Franks. I also know Joe and Bill and Dave. Coming right up. Can we romance this girl? Probably too old for us. I assume she's uh, an adult. The alluring part. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks later. I'm looking over my final grades for this semester. And they're good because you studied. My science score is lower than normal. I couldn't study with Fang anymore since the mother incident. She doesn't want me to be seen by her anymore. Instead, I've been studying at home. Got a pretty great grasp on the core subjects too. In the end, Mr. Jingo screwed us over by making music midterm a live demonstration. <laughs> Horrid marks there, but I did get things pretty great with math and English. My GPA was secured for a... For a Starting over. My GPA was secured at least for whatever the fuck I decide on. Yeah. End of midterms means the start of a new quarter. Halfway through the semester, and things have been going pretty good. Most agree that the bit with Tracy here was to spell it out for anyone that somehow chose wrong because of Oblivious. Hot. I mean, First of all... First of all, fuck people who can't just speak their feelings. Second of all, how the fuck is playing the guitar flirting? Well, I mean, she's trying to share your ho her hobby with her with you. She's like trying to share a personal. Then she can just in the, the sharing of the hobby is it, if that was the goal anyway. She could have said, "Hey, come play guitar with me at my house." Like the. Which, it, it's a little harder to ask. It's like uh, there's a there was a relevant topic at play with the midterm studying stuff, and she thought it was. She already said something. she didn't want to study. Didn't want to study with Trish. 
That's, she that's did cool. want to study with Anon. I, my point being, she invited you there for a purpose. If she wanted another purpose, she should have invited you for that. That's not being oblivious. I mean, you could also say, I mean, they're awkward high schoolers. Talking isn't really their strongest suit, especially for Anon. Yeah, she just want to have fun. She's just sharing her passion. Yeah. This is why I don't understand people. Halfway through the semester, and things have been going pretty good. I didn't completely fuck up so far, and I think the rest of the band is starting to warm up to me. Especially Fang. In fact, we've been hanging out more in the auditorium after school. Instead of band practice, we've been making use of all that repaired- making use of that repaired projector. I don't know why, but my mind read that as all those repaired potions. Watching shitty movies and playing games on Reed's X Rocks. Potion seller. Why? So deep in thought it. Hello, the socially awkward Hinkle who can't read social cues at all. Hey, a mag, a maggot soon a thirteen. No, Thanks for stopping no. in. No, first of all, no. <laughs> like I was saying before, I have been in such situations where it's been painfully obvious at like name flirting technique this girl is doing it and it's like no i'm not interested in you plan b so, was leaving a trail of candy to a box held up with a stick <laughs> would that work for you hinkle yes no, no actually no because it's not because again that's so painfully obvious and yet apparently sometimes it's still not a clue Oh, so, no, why are you in my box? That wasn't meant for you. Yeah. <laughs> house, but that wasn't that meant would be you. what would happen to me. So. I was trying to catch James Woods. I have, why are you so deep in thought, Anon? The Mandarin Manchurian rips me away from my monologue. During homeroom, Spears came to, on the announcement to declare an assembly for the senior class. God damn it. Or in his own words. Uh. This is in those seats now. Naomi has taken the opportunity to walk me through the hallways. What do you want? To be best girl. I heard you and Fang went on another date the other day. Of course she did. It wasn't a date. We were just hanging out. Just kicking Reed's ass in Rock Ring 3. Please give Mammoth bone armor. <laughs> you do anything fun with Nacer lately? Oh! My master's just had another track meet! That always works. My jump form is so perfect! I can see everything! Oh. He looks so dazzling in his track and field uniform! You can see everything! <laughs> I can see everything! <laughs> I tune her out as she covers her profusely red nose. The less I can think of Nasser's body, the better. His cock is so big and glistening in the wind! Can you imagine it? Can you see it? No, Wait, I don't want both. to. Na Romancing Nasser is also an option here. We get to Actually, the can't! Is it an option to just be a unicorn for those two? Because, God, I love them both. I'm curious. I, I, wait, I'm not wait, saying wait, that wait. Naomi is... To be a what? A unicorn? What do you mean by that? So, a unicorn is a term for... Third wheel isn't exactly the right term for it in a relationship. Like, you're actually a part of the relationship as a third person. The reason it's called a unicorn oh, is because... so you're, idea... be you're being the meat in the sandwich. The idea is that there's no one... It, it, it's impossible. It's not a thing that can possibly exist. The, a person who perfectly fits into a three-person relationship. Oh, I was going... I was reading it to the horn angle. Never mind. It's so magical sounding, but it just can't possibly exist. So I want to be their unicorn. I was going to say, I'm not saying that Naomi is my first choice for who I want most in this game, but I am intently curious if it's possible to cuck Nazar. No, see, that's the thing. I don't want to cuck Nazar. I don't want to cuck Nazar. <laughs> I want to... 
I, want I mean, it sounds Nazar, like you do actually. want to cuck him. I, you know, yeah. I don't want to cuck Nazar. I want to. I don't want to cuck. Na it's hard with the name with with his name. I don't yeah. want to cuck Nazar. I want to cock Nazar. Yeah. NASCAR Nazar 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 Nazar. I want to be in the middle. I want to steal Naomi away from him and watch him broken away, crawling through the pits of failure as he loses all of his uh, scholarships. I want Nazar's thrusts into me to translate into my thrusts into Naomi. <laughs> e -meppers. I want to be the middle doll of the Newtonian, or what are they called? Di Dino human centipedes? No, a a the, Newton's you know, cradle? The dangling balls. Yeah, Newton's cradle. Yeah, Newton's cradle. There you go. Or just what you'd get when you're older. <laughs> <laughs> boy, this boy, this chat's a bunch of bundles of sticks. I apologize if that was too much for this thing. No, that, that's perfectly fine. Uh, you got E. Smith here. Oh, I just saw he was making a Weather Witcher three reference. <laughs> <laughs> you could be farther off. I don't know. I've never played Witcher 3. That could be right on the money. We get to the auditorium <laughs> once again. I look to the back row to find our spot. Empty? You know, I am what they call a power middle. <laughs> Over here, Anon! Wait, wouldn't that just be a switch? Unless you apply, you only do it both at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then. Fang and Trish are sitting in the front row. Next to them is Reed, huddling behind a cart with the projector he fixed on it, messing with the cords. Naomi is... nah. Well, Gex Horde, it seems we're the only ones that agree there. <laughs> Naomi's okay. Naomi's sweet. Like, she's a little obsessed. I mean, she's a little... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it Controlling? Her. Uh, the word, no, not the word I'm looking for. Overbearing. Oh, Over Naomi's very yeah, overbearing. overbearing. She's genuinely, at least she's genuinely concerned. Like she's just very bubbly, and enthusiastic. Yeah. At the very really least, I, I, I admit she's not. I don't know if she's like the best girl in the game, but I think everyone is like uncar like unfairly rough on her. Yeah. Uh, so far, anyway, we'll see still. But like Trish is a good example of someone who is a control freak. Trish is does the things she does entirely just to be in charge of everyone. Naomi is not about being in charge. It's just she genuinely thinks she's always right and wants everyone to want what she yeah, wants like, because yeah. she thinks it's the best thing. Naomi's always trying to help, but the problem she is is she doesn't recognize when her help isn't wanted or needed. Or even right. So what's the deal? Why are we sitting in front of? Why are we sitting in front all of a sudden? Uh, Spears asked me to man the projector. Huh. I guess he should have asked me to raptor the projector. <laughs> no, there's still he's still a man. He's just a raptor man. First I was like, say what? But then I was like, yeah, man, yeah, sure. So like, here I am. I see. There are two people, kinds of people in this world, Anon. Those guys who say nah, those guys who say yeah. See, that one made sense. I, I mean, yeah, he's not wrong. Who is this Reed? I take my seat next to Fang. They say why we're here yet? Nope. Since we're seniors, it's probably some other stupid pep talk about our futures. I bet it's a fundraiser. Well, I'll uh, just sit here on my Rose Chad Hill. Well, Bongo, we haven't seen Rosa yet. If we see her again, Hinkle's probably going to immediately fall in love with her like he's been having everyone else. I'm sorry, first of all, what? Because we're talking what? about everyone but Rosa. Uh, uh, and Chad, they're talking about Rose Chad Hill. Oh, he's saying he likes Rosa? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. You had it's a fundraiser. You had a classmate yeah. like Na like Naomi. Literally, it was a clone. Ah, bad experience, Gexford. I would love her. <laughs> I'm like good at selling things and stuff. I'm sure. No, you're Anon. 
touche. Actually, I've been meaning to ask. What exactly is Carfe? You don't know, man. Carfe uh, Diem. Carfentanil. The wildest stuff a dino can get, dude. <laughs> don't cuck me, brah. Oh, Bongo, don't worry. Hankel just had a big thing. He doesn't want to cuck. He'll just join you as a unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> All the power. It depends on, I mean, I don't want. It, it's. I, I'm only going to be a unicorn if I like both the people. I don't. <laughs> I don't know him. I... Really now. Really. It was used in war by skinnies a while back. It's a deadly tranquilizing agent. I don't know why they were using it in war. It's only deadly. When, it's only deadly when you make it wrong, man. But yeah, it's great stuff, and how you and if you know how to do it. Fang, ha have you ever tried any? Once. Woke up hanging upside down from a tree with Naomi's clothes on a on on on. I thought I was saying it like on the skeleton. Naomi's clothes on. Woke up hanging upside down from a tree with Naomi's clothes on, hugging a fake skeleton. I think a comma there would have made that better. Possibly. <laughs> also, I love the fact that she had Naomi's clothes on. Yeah, I have no idea how I got Naomi's clothes on, and I think that's a story best left untold. I don't want <laughs> yeah. Naomi. What was Naomi wearing? <laughs> Either Fang's clothes or nothing, I imagine. See, when I do it, it just makes me a bit dizzy for a few hours. Huh. Can I see some? Oh, God. No. Jay's rises. Reed, you can't just put Carfe in the fundraiser docket. Wait. Chocolate? Chocolate. Not with chocolate. Ch chocolate. Ch chocolate. Well, dude, absolutely not. No. Why not? That stuff's a hundred times more powerful than horse tranquilizer. It didn't melt your skin. The potion it sucks. makes your heart burst. My potions are not meant for you. <laughs> I heard a human tried it once and exploded. Chocolate. Oh, okay. Fundraiser chocolate. I remember when they first invented chocolate. Sweet, creamy chocolate. Hated it. I bet. Yeah, yeah, sure. You just don't want to share. Oh my god. I could get immunity to it, right? <laughs> the last of the seniors trickle in and take seats near the front. Eventually... I, what? I spent the last few years developing an immunity to Carl Fentanyl. <laughs> Eventually, Spears <laughs> takes the stage. Why is there no option to die mid-story? Yeah, sure there is, you just quit. but you were too determined. He pauses to make sure everyone's covering their ears before beginning. <laughs> oh, right. As you all know, graduation's coming up soon. We're gonna get over that whole process. But first, the student council has a brief presentation to give on the subject. Floor's all yours, stucco, stupid stucco, 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 stupid idiot. <laughs> Spears gestures his hand towards Naomi and Acer, who show up from behind the stage curtains. The Chiffron Tsarina brings a wireless microphone to her snout. She begins reciting a well-rehearsed speech in her usual snooty <laughs> manner. <laughs> I can't pronounce Naomi, but you were close! More plastic than person. That's just... <sighs> Why, thank you, Principal Spear! The projector comes to life, displaying a basic slideshow title card reading. Nothing has yet suggested that she is fake. I just... It makes me angry. Reed, how do you and know I when to move it forward? anyone can be that genuinely enthusiastic, I guess. It's when she crosses her fingers. Check it out, dude. I mean, enough browsing of the, uh, of of uh, 
the, his Sudeten sword swallowing IRC was probably rotted the brain there. <laughs> can't tr can't actually think nice exists. Now this is a very important turning point in your life. Ah, got it. It's one of these. I needed a nap. As soon as I closed my eyes, I felt a malevolent force looming before me. <laughs> Somehow, I felt like opening my eyes was a bad idea. But keeping them closed was an even worse one. At least there's cute little designs on the slides. There's a little penguin with a graduation cap. There you Aww. Go. There's a school mascot in a party hat. Even has the fogged up window. Not sure why they kept that part. A lineup of various graduates with a token human at the end for diversity. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> Very close There's some scientists and engineers holding hands. Aww. I can't tell if the humans are supposed to be the minority. Uh, at least here it is. There's a triceratops holding onto a branch with the text, Hang in there, baby! The purple tie just makes me think of the triceratops from Barney. Huh. There's me two years ago when I photoshopped myself with an anime girl. Wait, what? <laughs> I love her face change. Yeah. What the fuck? Ow! Why? The world stopped turning. No one around me is moving, and there is no sound at all. <laughs> Why is that here? How? I, I deleted everything! Everything! Why the fuck is it here? He also seems shocked, though. My body feels like stone as I try to turn. To see if anyone else is seeing this. In the end, I, I can't bring myself to move at all. It doesn't matter. I already feel their endless gazes. I feel lightheaded. There's what feels like a lump of lead in the pit of my stomach. There's dark spots forming in my sight. When I finally breathe again, the world restarts. The laughter hits first. A monstrous guffaw from behind that's joined by every other senior in the room. Reed, change the slide! Change it now! Uh, I'm dead! More pictures. So many more pictures. Each one more and more embarrassing than the last. I... Oh, oh god. Alright, oh, shit. I give up. Is that some sort of anime?! Is this what anime is? There's a loud crash right next to me, and the entire room becomes black. Is this what the kitties are on?! D d did I faint? I is this real life? Is, is this just fantasy? He's caught in the landslide. There's no escape from this reality. I oh. also fucking love one of the lines in the comments. You know, maybe he shouldn't have worn the exact same clothes as the photo literally every yeah. single day. <laughs> his, his single wardrobe has turned against him. Anon? Uh, that just reminds me of how I heard once uh, Daniel Radcliffe, you know, Harry Potter, to get the paparazzi off him back, wore the same outfit whenever he let, went outside for like almost a full year just because the paparazzi since couldn't tell what day it was by the photo because he was wearing the same outfit they couldn't use anything so they just stopped like uh following him <laughs> it's like wow that's some like 3d chess there no fucking love I, I i'm still laughing at the naomi change in expression when it fucking Anna yeah him. that's fucking crazy. the whole fucking scenario i also noticed he was hover handing and he, in in them too he couldn't even Anon. Could even Photoshop it right. I'm just... Shouldn't maybe he shouldn't have put his deviant art name as Anon the Anon. <laughs> Still awake. Oh fuck. The lights come back on and my eyes burn. The projector is on the floor. Lens shards scattered all over the floor. The laughter is even louder now. Reed, how the fuck did this happen? Look, I just used the USB Trish said. Yeah, I figured this was a Trish. Trish, why would Trish... Trish wasn't in her seat. 
the corner of my eye, I notice someone running for the entrance. It's Trish. She's making a mad sprint for the door. Stop her! She continues dashing towards the exit. And right into Spears' hand. Literally. His baseball mitt of a hand covers the... The... the that fucking bitch! Covers her face entirely. Even lifts her up. By her face. With one hand. It is her. <laughs> the of you get your asses back to class. Spears motions for me to follow him. But I feel paralyzed by everything that just happened. I bury my face in my hands and just groan. This is rock bottom all over again. Also, is this the reason he had to leave? Just because he made anime pictures of himself? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I expected something dark, but this is fucking perfect. It's exactly what it should be for Anon. <laughs> Fang tugs at my arm, trying to get me to follow. I, I just can't find the mo energy to move anything right now. Fang frantically looks around at the hysterical crowd, trying to come up with something. Eventually... I feel Fang put her arm over my shoulder as she tries to get me to stand. She drapes her wings across my back, creating a barrier between me and everyone else. Without saying a word, she leads me out of a side door towards the principal's office. What the fuck just happened? Hey. How is this happening to me? You, uh... You gonna be alright? How did Trish find those dumb pictures? Look, don't listen to those pricks, Anon. What was reading on it? All of them are dumbasses. He couldn't be. What would he gain from something like this? Like, this'll all just blow over. What would Trish gain from something like this? Like, none of them talk about our shitty concert. I know she doesn't like me, but this? And that was like a fucking month ago. This is fucked up. I'm going to rip her stupid horns off and give her a couple new holes to breathe with. Uh, it'll all be good, Anon. Also, it was way longer than a month ago. Yeah. Thinks Fang's dad had a thing going on with the golf clubs. See if he can give me a couple of pointers. Just need some time to forget it happened. The squeak of sneakers catches my attention, and I turn to see Reed approaching us down the hall. Uh, uh, uh. Reed? I thought Spears sent everyone back to class. I just can't sit in class while all my hombres are going through some pretty heavy stuff, you know? Oh, he looks so sad. Man, that was so not yo, dude. I got something I need to get off my chest anyways. What? I'm a bit busy dealing with getting docs here. Wait. Wait, get what off your chest? Were, were you in on it? Fang's questioning glare makes Reed shudder. W wait, no, no, dude, you're getting the wrong idea, man. Reed, how did this happen? No, no, it went more like... I, I was getting the projector set up earlier, right? Something was wrong with the lens, and I didn't have enough time. So, like, I asked Trish to go get the thing from Naomi. I guess she must have, like, changed the slides before giving it to me. Dude. And you didn't think to check? Reed deflates. Damn it, Reed! Look, man. Trish isn't a bad person. Bitch sure has a funny way of showing it. She's a triceratops. Dude, All right, I are we gonna get into the argument about what isn't isn't a person again? <laughs> Dude, I know you're still hurting from what she did, but like... Yeah, what could have possibly given that away? Bro, let me finish. 
Reed's raised voice takes the wind out of my lungs. That's the first time I think I've ever heard him raise his voice. Or look upset. Oh, that hurts my lungs. Possibly all the drugs. Ugh. Trish messed up pretty bad, bro. Like, massively, hugely messed up. Not gonna argue with that. She abused my trust too, dude. Right, hold on. Ge Gexa Horde over here. You didn't play the guitar with her, but she still cares about you. Yeah, we care about her. That's why we wanted her to study instead of waste her time playing the guitar when she knows she has bad grades. <laughs> Anyways, uh, when, when, she <laughs> when she gave me the presentation from Naomi, I didn't think she'd do anything like that, dude. But did you ever, like, consider why? Because she's a two-bit cunt? Reed sighs again, with a noticeable lack of smoke surrounding him. Dude, you and Trish have, like, been at each other's throats, but, like, why even? I open my mouth to answer, but can't find the words. Or the reason. Did you ever stop to consider, like, why Trish always gives you a hard time? Not really. Another sigh, this time with an expectant look from Reed. You ever even, like, try, bro? No. And, like, that's the problem, dude. You're the victim, and I'm blaming you. <laughs> Reed has a paid, ex <laughs> Reed has a paid expression on his face, and a quick glance shows his fangs is even worse. Like, I know it sucks. Trish tricked me and all, too, and that hurts, you know? But, like, maybe try and think why Trish did this, all right, bro? Well, that's what he has to get off his chest. He, he's, he's been watching this for a while and has been like, Trish is into Fang, and he's, yeah, he, he's interesting. Uh, I want to choose between the first two. I don't really think, I think Reed is kind of overplayed. Like, yeah, you and Trish have always been bad blood, but you've never publicly humiliated Trish intentionally. No. And you've never, think... like, like you've never made her, like, specifically the laughing stock for the whole school before. No, I but think you're Trish stealing, did. you're stealing her love. Uh, well, yeah, That's but I mean, like... doing this. You are stealing away from her the girl that she loves. Yeah, I guess, but I mean, it's like, that's still... Uh, I don't think that's something to, like, downplay Trish having done this. Like, I think Trish... I think, I think Anon deserves to be a little more angry than introspective. Like, I don't think, uh, I know, I know, like, Triss has never spoken up about her feelings. Uh, Triss has had, like, all of her life to make a move on Fang, and just because, like, Anon has been the one to actually get close to her in that time, I don't think that's, like, you can't blame Anon, you can't blame Anon for that, because he's never known. Triss hasn't exactly made that, like, knowledge even to Fang, so, so it looks like. What does being angry at her help, though? Well, obviously, it shows that there's, like, uh, I mean, for one, you gotta, like, He's allowed to be angry that she just fucking ruined his reputation in front of the entire school. Like, yeah. if this is the shit that made him move towns before, she just put him through an extremely traumatic experience that he just, like, he it was so fucking bad for him. That's what I mean cool. is, what does being openly angry about it help? Well, it lets uh, her if, know if, that you are not fucking happy about this. That yeah, you can let her know that while still acknowledging that Reed is right, and also, ultimately, it will be worse for Trish that way, because you are making Trish the bad guy in everyone's eyes. She's already the bad guy in everyone's eyes. Yeah, but if you're actively being angry and about it, then you're also... I mean, they're her friend, too, and if you're angry at her openly, if, if you're only being antagonistic towards her, then you're just furthering the problem. Whereas, if you calm down and make yourself the victim then boom everyone's on your side I think, everyone, I think one like I mean one that's a great scenario for you know Trish you know Trish doesn't have to worry about Anon being angry at her Trish gets to uh, oh no it's a lot of good scenario good. for Trish because well, now Fang and then? Reed are going to have the anger for you then isn't that just being manipulative then? That's yes. just uh, playing it from a, uh, a sort of subterfuge angle? Because I'd rather just be straight up and, like, if I'm going to be, uh, you know, making stuff hard for people, I'd rather be straight up about it. 
No, I want to make I it as hard for them as possible. Making it as hard for them as possible is turning all of their friends against her. Yeah, that's a little that's a little too behind. Uh, that's a little too under the table for me. I'm more of a straight up in your face. If I'm going to be mad at you, I'm going to let you know. I'm not going to like try to manipulate the whole school against you. I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to be mad at you. I'm not going to try to fucking make you into like a pariah of the entire school. Just this is my fucking business. I will I, don't I will that's how it would end. I mean, you make it bad for for a little while and eventually things end up being better. I think my my choice has the best the most amount of short-term pain for Trish, and then also the most amount of long-term gain for everyone. I'm sorry, which one is that one you're saying? The, I guess Reed might have a point. I would prefer to go not exactly in the introspective sort of mood right now, because I don't really feel like it's fair to immediately concede that, you know, Trish's feelings were validated just because of stuff Anon wasn't made aware of. And basically, Trish took the initiative to try and ruin his life in front of the entire school. Like, I don't feel like Anon has to be that mature right now. Well, if that's the case, then I guess we should just, uh compromise in the middle one wait isn't the top one more of the middle choice like the middle one is i refuse to accept i had no, any part to play i think that's I, I feel like the the options here are number one is i'm being an ignorant asshole who won't stop being angry the third choice is i'm being either manipulative or overly uh passive and then the second choice is somewhere in between trying to be rational and saying i didn't fucking do this I feel like the middle one is the one you're talking about with being uh, irrationally angry. Like, I refuse, like, that's very, very strong language. I refuse to accept no, that I had any part of Not exactly in the that. introspective sort of mood. It's just saying, I'm not going to think. I'm that's, just going to be I, angry. I think, no, he's not saying he's just going to be angry. It's a very vague, nubulous answer wherein he's not exactly feeling in the mood to be, uh, forgiving right now but it also doesn't explicitly say he's going to be outright angry and not accept any responsibility at all i think the I, first it's one is the heavily most implied when he's all when he's been angry this whole time the mood he is in is angry mood and therefore he is not willing to be introspective right now but not as strong language as the second one the second one is him flat out saying i refuse to accept that i had any part to play in this debate it's also more verbose language which is an attempt at being more rational I think that sounds more angry than rational. I think the most rational one is I'm not exactly rational angry. and angry. I think I, you I can think be that... rational and angry at the same time, whereas the first one is literally a refusal of being rational. Intr I... A refusal of being introspective is a refusal of being rational. The first one reads to me more like the middle ground of the three options, despite being listed first. But if you think the second one is the middle ground, I would take the second one as that is like, if anything, that's leaning definitely the middle ground. Mind. Also, because they put it in the middle. Yeah, uh, I will. I will go. If you I, I, I'm just saying, I think if you want middle ground, I think the first one is middle ground and the second one is angrier. But if you think the second one is more middle ground, I'll take the second one because that leans more in the direction that I would be. I would be leaning on anyhow. You get the second one. <laughs> Trish could still burn in hell for all I care. Three months. Three months from graduation and you pull a stunt like this? Spear's stern voice grilling Trish in his office rips me away from my thoughts. Good. She deserves it. I've, I've half a mind to have campus security escort you out of here and send you to Reef City con Continuate Reef City Continuation. Imagine probably some sort of filler juvie school. Fang and Reed both hiss at that. See, what they care about her too. What the fuck does that mean? You have five minutes to explain why I shouldn't do that right now. I couldn't hear Trish's full response to the door, but she was obviously crying. After what she did? Fang leaned in, trying to listen through the door to hear what the bitch was saying. Because of her arms, I was pulled closer too. I heard the trollops whimpering and wanted nothing more than to make her to really make her cry. 
all his fault. My fault? I did nothing to that purple pole smoker. <laughs> Didn't know what else I could do. Not fucking show half the school the cringiest thing I've ever done and commit what amounts to character assassination? Some asshole from the sticks. I'll show that cunt some fucking sticks. Excuse me? Driving thing away. What? What does Fang have to do with any of this? She wasn't the one bitching about every damn thing I do. I glance over to Fang, whose expression seems even worse now. Looking at her this way makes me makes a part of me feel even shittier. Like I did cause this. Oh, fuck Trish, though. She's been an ass to me from the beginning. Hang on, will you please step into my office? Spears' voice shocks me from my eavesdropping. What am I supposed to say to Trish? Fang tries to give a reassuring smile, but it's so fragile. Aw. But this is all her fault, and not that backstabbing bitch. Reed gives a silent nod. No thumbs up this time. I enter Spears' office, and my eyes are immediately drawn to Trish sitting in, fr in front of his desk, surrounded by crumpled up tissues. Trish, is there anything you would like to tell Anon? I've never seen her like this. It's all your fault. Who are you to come here and take Fang away? You're just some nobody from the middle of nowhere who only cares about yourself. I helped pull Fang out of their shell. And made her a social pariah in the process. My band was go was doing great before you came here. I set up the only successful show you ever played. And then you show up and start manipulating everyone. Because you're a selfish control freak. Everything has to revolve around you. Fang and Reed and me were going to make it to the top. But you stole everything from me because you didn't understand us. No one understands us. Trish is cut off by a horrid sob, her head falling into her hands and new tears spilling from her eyes. Raptor Jesus on his cross of rock, that's a lot to unpack. It's like you didn't even try to understand me either. And on, is there anything you want to add? Like how she's not worth the oxygen? But this real but if this really is all about Fang. I mean obviously talk with Trish. Yeah, I'm good with talking for Trish. Yeah. I turn to the piti pitiable purple punk rocker. I like to imagine he's actually whispering in her ear right now. <laughs> it just leads over. It just... Maybe Reed was onto something. I... I think I finally get it. Look, Trish. Maybe we didn't start off right. And yeah, I can be an asshole. She looks up at me, surprise written on her teary-eyed face. I didn't mean to drive you and Fang apart or anything. I just want to be Fang's friend. But after what you fucking did, fucking digging up my past, airing it to every senior, and all for Fang? She's outside the store thinking this is all her fault. That guy responds from Trish. Her head dipped down and her fingers curled into the hem of her hoodie. Maybe it's your fault for being such a bitch. Maybe it's mine. I don't know. But it sure as shit isn't Fangs. Another choke sob racked her body, and the tears started anew. I'm sorry for being a poor friend to you, 
But after what you did, I don't know if I can forgive that. Spears nods in approval, a fatherly grin stretching his cheeks. That was well said, son. You are my son. I am your father. <laughs> Dad? You've come a long way since your first day. You can leave. Take the rest of the day if you need it. I rise from my chair and make for the door. But I'm stopped by what Trish just muttered. It's my fault. I'm sorry. You should tell that to Fang. Right before I clamp my hand on the doorknob, Spears speaks up. Oh, and Anon, don't think I didn't notice. Uh oh. I slowly turn back to him. <laughs> I was actually gonna make that joke. I did not think that's where it was going. <laughs> Your wife or trash and your taste. Shit. <laughs> Although, to be completely honest, he is subtly also ma making the statement that you can be a mature adult and also like anime. Stop fucking hiding it, you idiot. My door is always open so I can share some quality anime. Where you talk about Anand didn't hide it, that's why he's in the situation to begin with. But no, he was definitely hiding. It, this wouldn't be a situation if he wasn't hiding it. No, I'm talking about the the, the previous time. I, I'm assuming that somebody found it the previous time, too. I doubt he just went around sharing that. I mean, you never know. What? I open the door to see Fang again. Expression complex, leaning against the door's frame. Reed has taken my place beside her, with a comforting arm around her shoulder. If this was any other situation, I might have felt a bit jealous. Hey. A heavy sigh escapes my lips. Hey. Doing okay, bro? I'd frankly like to just disappear right now. I think I'll just go home. I, uh, can ditch if you need me to come with. Fane looks at the door to Spear's room for a bit, then back to me. Trish is probably having to call her parents right now. Fane probably heard everything in the office. Uh, wow. Go home early or wait for Trish. Shit, I'm a little torn on this one. I don't know what is the, uh... My gut instinct is to say go home early, because if I was at this situation in real life, I'd be like, I'm good. I, I need some time to decompress from all this, but I'm tempted to see what happens if you wait for Trish. Like, I'm not sure well, if that... I... Like, if Trish wants to... If the last thing Trish wants to see when she comes out the door is Anon. I am the type who does not comprehend... Well, com... What, what am I trying to say? I am the type who does not... Yeah, no, I'm just gonna, yeah, I don't comprehend public embarrassment. So, I wouldn't even, I would just go back to class after this, to be honest. I mean, I wouldn't have left my first school in the first place, but, um... I'm trying to stay in character as Anon, and I can certainly yeah, understand well, the shame level being, like, I think that, it's absolutely ridiculous that this is what drove him from his, I would have just fucking taken it on the chin, but if this is the kind of guy who is so fucking yeah. artistic, he has to leave town the moment that people find his cringy deviant art pictures, I can kind of get into the character. I, um... What I'm trying to say is I feel like if we're being in character, then we must also be in the character growth. And the story is clearly trying to have Anon grow a little bit here and stop running away from everything. So wait for Trish, because I'm okay with that. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah, let's wait for Trish. You worried about her too? Fang turns her head down to her shoes. How could I not tell something like this was happening? You know it's not your fault. Doesn't mean I don't feel guilty about it. 
She picks her head up to look me in the eye. We should leave. You probably don't want to see her when she gets out. Actually, I think we should wait. Looks like you have something to say to her. Well, yeah, but... There's something else I wanted to tell her, too. There is? There is? Are you sure you should be talking to her when you're still this upset? It's nothing bad, I promise. Uh, it's a good call, dude. You can go first. Fang gives a small nod, and the three of us slide down the wall into sitting positions. In which case, I'm glad we chose this choice because it also, I did not think about that. It also determines where Fang goes, and if you left, Fang would probably go with you. The minutes yeah. pass. I think, I think Fang deserves to be there, you know, when Trish comes out. What do I even say to her? I'm not entirely sure either. Reed awkwardly toys with his tail in silence, suddenly a lot less contemplative than before. Contemplative? Gosh. Whatever. The clasped hands around my knees start to leave red marks on each other. I can't find the energy to shift between them. Eons later, Trish emerges from the office. And the dinosaurs went extinct. Her tails have become shiny trails, reflecting the sterile light of the hallway. Hesitantly, Fane gets up to speak with her. That makes one of us. For a while, the two just stare at each other. Eventually... Why? Why the fuck did you do this to Anon? Did you actually think it'd be okay? I'd be okay with this? Anon is just as much my friend as you or Reed. And that's the biggest oof of them all. <laughs> that, was, that was something those douchebags who make fun of our own band would do. I mean, Fang must have known how hurtful that would be to say. I thought he was a bad influence. On you, the band. Everything is changing, Fang, and I don't like it. I have mild autism. <laughs> All because of Anon. All because of Anon. He spread his autism. It's like a disease. <laughs> <laughs> going around the school. Everyone's going to get shitty anime taste. <laughs> Look, he still loves Spears' line. Your waifu is trash and your taste is shit. Great principle. And why didn't you just fucking talk to us? Anon isn't some asshole trying to rip everything apart. He's just an asshole. Okay, come on, man. <laughs> that is a fantastic description of Anon. He's an asshole with no goal. <laughs> he just is an asshole. <laughs> I know what you told me, Fang, but like... Could definitely see someone leaving school over embarrassing DeviantArt pictures if the bullying is bad enough. I mean, he did mention the bullying posters at the start and how yeah. they didn't do anything as old school and people talked about him. So he probably was getting bullied before the pictures got loose to begin with. I just like to imagine Anon super sensitive and he just listens to two people whispering behind closed doors about the Anamon, An Anamon, An <laughs> anime pictures. And then he just fucking, that's it, my life is over. I gotta go, leave town, skip to school. But you deserve better, he's not. I catch Trish throwing a glance my way as she cuts herself off. Look, I'm sorry, Fang. I'm just trying to look out for you. Look out for me? I can make my own decisions, Trish. Fang sighs and rubs her temples. I'm taking a break from the band. I watch as Trish's entire world shatters before her eyes. We turn them against her, and that's much better. Reed's lack of reaction tells me they discussed this while I was in Spears' office. What was that, Shima? I, was, I would just rather loudly call her a cunt and get it over with. Wait, things will end better this way. Eventually, it will be better. 
But if the thing is, if you just shout you're a cunt, they're not experiencing the consequences of their own actions. If if she sees everyone responding, I feel, like, I, I feel like that would be the case. Even if like people are understanding if if Anon is angry, Anon can be as angry as he wants. It's a natural reaction, and I'm pretty sure. Uh, the others would still come to these conclusions, you know. I think, uh, you know, I think it's I think it's better to just you know take a break from this whole thing. And the only thing is that Anon gets a little more uh, catharsis out of it. He gets to unleash. He gets to vent, is what he gets to do. I'd rather get catharsis, but then also resolution. And that's what you get with this. You get a resolution either way. It's just different. Anyway, what? I need time to think. Hey, wait. Bye. Fang turns away from Trish and starts walking away. I'll wait by the exit while you talk, Anna. Reed gets up as he passes by and begins to follow, giving me a thumbs up. This isn't the time for finger bangs, man. Let's give you some <laughs> privacy, amigo. Just trying to lighten yeah, the mood. Get out of here. And now it's just the two of us. I get up from my spot on the floor, pins the needles in my legs, making it more difficult. The truth is, I've loved you all along, Trish. <laughs> <laughs> now, what do you want? I fucked up too. I read that as I fucked you. <laughs> <laughs> that catches her off guard. This is my fault too, you know. I played a stupid game with this instead of manning up and just talking about it. I stoned the fuck up and finally admit it. To the world and myself. I like Faye. I like her and I know that's what you're afraid of. I was never out to break anything up. I just like Faye. I want to help her. I never wanted to hurt anyone. Trisha's eyes glaze over and stare at something in the distance, as if all of her worst fears came true. I guess in a way they did today. I'm done, Trish. I'm not going to fight with you over this. I won't fuck with you. You won't fuck with me. I'm going home. I mean, not fucking with her is impossible, while also liking Fang, so... I mean, I guess maybe nothing directly intentional. I okay, I mean... I turn away... Not like, yeah. I was just saying, it's not like liking a person is like... You can't qualify that as fucking with Trish. If Trish is gonna be fucked with by you liking a person she likes, then that's her problem. Okay, well, yeah. I guess what I mean is stealing, your, stealing her waifu is fucking with her. I turn away from Trish as she buries her head in her hands again. Part of me wonders if she'll use that against me, but right now, it just feels good to get it out of my system. As I begin looking for Fang, Reed stops me in the hallway. Made the right call talking it out. Trust me, dude. Reed shuffles his feet a bit and scratches his neck. I'm gonna give you a bit of space after dealing with that. Time to think things over, you know. Suddenly, he leans in and lowers his voice. I love you. <laughs> you should tell them, bro. With a cryptic wink, he rushes off towards Trish, probably to give her the same kind of therapy. I throw a quick glance to back to see him pull in Trish for a hug. His turn to deal with her now. You know, thinking about, I mean, Trish didn't just screw, I mean, obviously didn't just screw over Anon and Fang, but like, like he said, she abused uh, Reed's trust in her. He, I, I, I'm sure he doesn't give a fuck about this, but she ruined Naomi's slideshow, which I presume she worked hard on. Yeah. Mm. Oh boy, here comes a walking plus one GBP indicator. What What do you mean by that, Ri Jay Rises? GBP. Read the AUTs? Oh, aughts. <laughs> yes. Yeah, what is Durable. GBP? Gay boy points. <laughs> And what? already has too many of those. What did he mean by tell them? Tell them what? Does Reed? How did he? So much for privacy. Oh, maybe good boy points. 
He's also clearly been reading the situation from the beginning, from what he said before. So, I mean, I shake the oh, thought. Oh, yeah, good, good boy points is what it is. I was just looking that up. I shake the thoughts from my mind and head in the direction Fang went. That can I wonder wait. What, what are you referring to? What's a plus one good boy point indicator? I guess just showing that Reed's a good oh, guy. Reed. Reed. Reed comes by and gives you a thumbs up and a happy meal. Uh, Anon did good. Anon's getting his nuggies tonight. I catch up to Fang near the front of the school as I mentally prepare myself for what's coming. Time for the walk of shame. As I make my way through the hall, I do my best to ignore the passing jeers from teens I don't even know. This song does such a great job of making you feel anxious. It, it, uh, the, it, like I, I've said this so many times, the music is great. It's phenomenal. Though speaking of the music, The Last Dream had a copyright claim because it picked up the rooftop scene as playing Moving Along, which when I looked up, didn't sound anything like it. So it's again like how Phoenix Wright got copyright claimed for The Christmas Tree, which is a song that doesn't <laughs> even exist in the game. And with YouTube, so you can't just say, hey, you copyrighted the false thing. This doesn't exist. It's do you own it or is it free? And it's like, oh, I guess I just got to deal with it. I mean, the only yeah, thing it YouTube does... YouTube system's fucking terrible. Yeah. I mean, the only thing it does is just you can't monetize, but I can't monetize anyways. You need a thousand subs to do that. Hint, hint. I guess it's already spread to the lower years, too. Subscribe. <laughs> Fucking light speed yeah. capable rumor mill. Hey, do the Naruto run! Yeah, look this at, is pretty annoying. Look at the pathetic weeb. How's your 2D girlfriend, Anon? Hey, Anon, need to borrow a jar? <laughs> <laughs> Your wife is great. I love her. God, I love Stella. Oh, the jar. Not helping, Stella. I keep my head down, avoiding the looks from them all. Ah, robots. Yeah, you can't trust them. Shouldering open the door, I'm blinded by the morning sun's glare. Within an hour, I've fallen back to square one. Is it too late to transfer to another school? Fang steps to the stairs, phone in hand. I can call us a taxi or something, Anon. I nod at that, moving for the stairs. Hey, loser! Think fast! I turn towards the voice, and the world slows down. My field of vision is filled with a soda can, and I freeze up like a deer in the headlights. <laughs> Can't uh, actually fly catch in. It, catch it out of the air. Because if we duck or dodge, it's going to hit Fang. And we yeah. can't have that happen. Catch it out of the air. The can smacks me in the forehead while I was mid-stride. And I shift my footing to try and regain balance. <laughs> Tonk. Except my foot catches on the edge of the stair lip and slips. Oof. Ow. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. that sounds... Oh, God. Uh. Oh, fuck. We need a split before the caveman gets here. Hang on! My lungs feel like they're on fire. I think my feet touch the back of my head. I think my lungs are on fire. I peel myself from around the bollard, feeling every bone in my body creak painfully. Ah, uh, fuck. Holy shit, you're alive! Am I? Ow. Are you standing up? Holy shit. Nothing seems to be broken. I've been worse. Oh uh, yeah, I see. I looked at the art book and saw the sketch scene of the actual fall, but... I mean, visual is one thing, but that sound! Ah, oh, that... The me yeah, the metal just clang after all those tumbles he he had some speed there the fact that he can walk it off is a miracle in itself and i like the screen blurring because he is horribly injured that's a nice touch honestly my ego is more injured than i am can you walk 
Yeah, sure, sure. This is nothing compared to field day back at my old school. I try taking a step, and my knee involuntarily twists in a direction it's not supposed to. Alright, maybe something is broken. Suddenly, I'm doing the Seth through McFarlane pose again. Ah! Uh. Oh, no. Uh. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me help you up. Ah! Uh. Uh. Oh. The pain in his face. Oof. It's literally in his face. <laughs> Oh, God. She tucks her arms around my shoulder and pulls me to my feet again. Let's just get to the bench over there. The taxi will be here in, like, five minutes. Using Fang as a second foot, I eventually make it to the bench. I still can't bend either leg, so I just sort of splay against the sidewalk. Fang sits on the other end and starts digging through her pockets. Hey, maybe call 911. Uh, I think I heard somewhere that nicotine relieves a bit of pain. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's okay, I watched it in Metal Gear Solid. It works. <laughs> yeah, I could use a smoke right about now. In the in the background, Hinkle seeds silently. I, I do, indeed. Fang retrieves one of the cigarettes from the crumpled pack and sparks it to life with her pink lighter. She takes the first draw, then hands it to me. Also, it would be very reasonable to assume that he got a concussion. He should really go to the hospital. What, and pay Dino Health Insurance? Damn, Dino America. <laughs> I inhale slowly, my chest aching as my lungs fill with wonderfully numbing nicotine. The minty taste and the cool sensation settling over my skin does help to relax my painfully tense muscles. Ever broke something, guys? I have, I have not broken anything, but I have slipped on ice in middle school, and split my forehead open and needed stitches. Five. I, I was bleeding up. profusely. Five people walked by, did nothing. Yeah, they'll walk it <laughs> off. A hero, a hero will be by. Don't worry. I, I've been to the hospital like three times. None of them were like injuries though um it was mostly just things spontaneously bleeding for no reason um Ooh, that that sounds like a condition there i can't all right one of the fucking weirdest things i have ever witnessed in my life and i've never heard of another person who had ever had this problem one day a i don't know what to call it a, a dot appeared on my finger a very tiny dot like somebody just barely touched the like a end pin of, a, of a red pen on my finger. And I'm like, I, I guess I just accidentally touched a red pen on my finger. And I like tried to rub it off. And it didn't come off. I'm like, I don't know why the fuck is it not. Do I suddenly have a freckle on my finger? I didn't know. And I didn't think much more of it until <laughs> later that day after swim practice, I'm I've gotten out of the pool. I'm now in the shower and in the locker room. Um, and I look down at my hand. My hand is covered in blood. I don't just mean a little bit of blood. I mean, my hand is is just red. Oof. And I, the, the dot on my finger is literally squirting. I don't just mean like oh, I'm bleeding a little bit. Like my finger somehow became a fountain. That that sounds like it's, something you would see in like uh like a work safety video or something. It probably uh that I, I I don't know the names of them, but I think there are major veins running throughout your body that if a vein of that nature gets cut, it bleeds more than usual. It, it wasn't a major. cut. I can't. I have to be clear. There was no injury. I did not hurt myself at any point. It just. It just started I, my just my best guess is that for some weird reason my was the, artery was there, was there a point or something? Did you like touch a, a needle or something spiky? No, 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 no. Because like that's why the red dot was like under the skin until that moment where it decided to not be under the skin anymore. That it, it's yeah. almost like sounding like you had a tiny pin brick that was enough to get to the vein, so then all the pressure just shoots it out from that spot. 
mean, my best guess is that, like, for some strange reason, like, an artery just decided to keep growing too far. And then just, like, grew through my skin. Uh, that the, doctors, would... the doctors didn't fucking understand what was happening either at the hospital. Like, it, it didn't stop for days. Oh, my... Jeez. <laughs> It, it just like my finger was just a fountain of blood that I had to like keep like massive amount of pressure on. It, it's just that I, like mm, it, yeah, that's oh, it, every oh. day, like days. I'm like, all right, surely it's fine now, and I take all like the coverings off and everything, and then I, I actually that's how I ruined my wave bird. Remember the GameCube wireless GameCube cube controllers? Oh yeah, wave I, bird? yeah, I have one yeah. of those. I ruined mine because I was playing a game, and then as I was playing, I. I'm like, why is my controller sticky? And I look down and my controller is just covered in blood. And I'm like, oh, I thought this was done. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> uh, I mean, I washed off all the blood, but the controller never quite worked as well after yeah, that. Yeah, if it got yeah, inside. It just, I don't know what the fuck happened to my finger, but yeah. You got um, you got stuck in some sort of like movie scenario, apparently. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's the kind of things I've been to the hospital for. I, I had a similar thing happen with my nose once, but that's not terribly uncommon for swimmers. Mm. Um, especially in the winter, you go from dry, cold air to getting in a hot, humid pool. And uh, yeah, temperature difference. Your capillaries just like burst. Ooh. And I had a really bad one one time where I ended up having to go to the hospital. And I, uh, uh, there you go. There you go, Hinkle. There's your explanation. Your body was just doing a little bit of trolling. <laughs> it was just messing with you. It's just a prank. I I apologize to anyone who doesn't want to hear about blood. But with the nosebleed, I, the point where the lifeguard was like, all right, you need to go to the hospital, was uh, when I pulled out. You know how, like, have you ever, if you've ever had like a bad nosebleed, like yeah. sometimes a bit, like congealed blood that like becomes one mass. Not to a massive degree, but I get I know what you're talking about. It's like usually it's just like a little tiny bit, but like yeah. I felt a little bit coming out of my nose, like a whole like mass of blood. So I start pulling on it, mm. and I I could feel it moving like mm. in my sinuses. Like, I could feel the pressure being relieved from my sinuses, and I pull out this long, long globule of blood, and it's like, it stayed, like, as a solid in my fingers. I could wiggle it around. All right, <laughs> so, I apologize for any horrible mental images you you guys may have had. It's, it's fascinating, but horrifying. Yeah, so I've never broken anything. It's the moral of only really broken your blood. Before I know it, the cigarette in my fingers is nothing but a smoldering filter. Looks like a ride's here. A grimy beater of a taxi pulls up to the curb, driven by an equally grimy velociraptor. Clearly, one we'll of the three left operating in the city. Fang helps me to my feet and over to the cab, opening the door so I could shamble in. This guy, though. All right, Hinkle, you want voice? Monar? Yes. Can I? Can I do the? Can I do the monarch? Yeah. All right. Hey, Ken, you look like you got into a fight with a steamroller and lost. Hmm. Who is this supposed to be? The monarch from. Uh, oh, well, oh, I can see it. I guess. Now, where are you kids heading on a school day? Maybe the hospital? Because you should go to the hospital. Yes. No. Go home. To the hospital. I want to go home. You have a concussion. Third thing, kid, you're the one paying me. Got the address? God help you if you don't give the monarch your address. 237 South Hammond Street. The driver sucks in a breath through his teeth. Uh, run, eh? Well, I'll take you as far as the edge of the neighborhood, deal? Yeah, whatever. Just take me home. The cat speeds off away from the school. Mobile, away! <laughs> Body spontaneously starts bleeding, doesn't explain, leaves. Yeah, see, Hinkle, you're just getting trolled. <laughs> you can't believe that Trish would do 
is something like that. What, what is the leaves though? Like my body left? <laughs> yeah, it just it just kind of pieces <laughs> out. The cab driver lets out a laugh. You got your ass handed to you by a girl, didn't you? I don't bother responding while Fane kicks the back of his seat. I did use my finger as a weapon at one point though, because like, um, got it. Actually, now that I think about it, that was like right before Thanksgiving. It was still doing that at Thanksgiving. My cousins came over and one of them was being obnoxious little idiot. He's like, behold, the power of my fingers. And was just poking everyone. And I'm like, I'll show you the power of a finger. And I took all the bandages off and just sprayed <laughs> blood. <laughs> just sprayed blood all over your cousin. <laughs> Hinkle, I think you're just part lizard because lizards do that. I think you've just awoken your deeper dino DNA. Was it, a, but hold on a sec, was it a full moon? Uh, Maybe a bloodbender? I don't, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, I, I think you're like secretly a horned lizard or something. Maybe it was autism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, autism makes some people can't socialize, gives some people really good certain skills. Hinkle got the superpowers. What? What is the thing where you start bleeding from where Jesus was crucified? Stigmata. Yeah, maybe it was a weird version of that. <laughs> you were crucified by your finger in a past life. <laughs> they were yeah, trying to yeah, get you in the palm, right. but but you but you pulled your hand away at the last second and screwed up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't want to tip much anyways. Why doesn't the driver want to drive all the way to your place? Just <laughs> Hinkle was the Dino GF all along. Yeah, see, that's why he's loving everyone. He's throwing us off the path. It can't be that bad, right? Uh, that reminds me. Hold this for me. I toss my pocket knife into Fang's laugh. Then to Fang's lap. She looks at me with her nervous smile, like she expects a punchline. Uh. Uh oh. Joking. Kinda. Haven't needed to shift someone yet. Talking hurts. Breathing too. Each breath feels like my ribs are gonna shatter. Fake must have noticed, since she kept silent after that. Alrighty, end of the line. That'll be 15 bucks even. There's still a few blocks we gotta walk. I manage to limp out of the car, and Fang drops a few crumpled bills in her seat and slams the door behind her. The car peels out and disappears around the corner. To be fair, if the neighborhood is really bad, it's not really one place you want to drive. Mm -hmm. I, uh, <laughs> my friend tells a story about, because uh, he used to live in um, Detroit. I think it was Cleve Cleveland or Detroit. I can't remember. But they once accidentally ended up in the bad part of town. He had a pretty nice car. Isn't that just all of Detroit? Like the the bad part of the bad part of town. <laughs> oh, um, God. The worst part. And uh, we don't know how to get out of here. And then a policeman pulls them over and the policeman comes up to the car and he's like, why did you stop for me? <laughs> he's like, you don't know who I am. You don't know if I'm a real cop. And he's, he gives them directions to get out of there. And he's like, don't stop for any red light, any cop, any stop sign, nothing. Do not stop your car. Oh, that is great. I feel like it would be even funnier if he was like, you don't know if I'm a real cop. I'm not a real cop, by the way. But still, don't stop for anything. And then he still helps him out anyways. <laughs> But yeah, so bad You're parts not. of town. Uh, I can't blame him for not wanting to be there. Especially a taxi. Yeah. Well, no place to go but home. Wait, you still can't walk, right? I could probably make it a good 50 yards. Hang on, give me your shoulder. Nah, don't worry about. Ignoring my protests, Fangs wraps her my arm around her back for support. Where are we going? Uh, first turn is a right up here. Wait, Fang is coming over to my place. Fang is coming over to my place? Defcon Zero! Fang is coming over to my place. Fang is coming over to my place. Oh god, the cum stain's on the <laughs> desk too! <laughs> Officer, oh god, someone actually stopped. I never had to do this before. Dispatch, what do I do? <laughs> 
this is this is best case scenario. I mean, because there's no parents to interrupt. I'm fit. His Saturnia posters are still on the wall. I don't want I mean, to I see guess... how I live. I guess the biggest problem here is that they can't really have sexy time when you can't breathe. <laughs> Crap! Did I leave Saturnia on? <laughs> Why would you leave it on? I don't know. Maybe it's a gotcha game. He's farming up uh, whatever they farm up in those. Hang on, let me get my key. I awkwardly fish around for it in my pocket, hand weighed down by some cheap first aid stuff from the nearby liquor store. This stuff wasn't necess- Shut up. Open the door. Get on the floor. Now we're gonna do the dinosaur. Oh my. I finally managed to find my key wedged between my leg and wallet. Fang takes the key from me and opens the door before I could think to throw it out the broken window nearby. <laughs> well, no turning back now. Welcome to Casa del Shithole. Occupancy, a miserable weeb. Don't look at my desk. Raptor Jesus threw me a bone, at least. There's no dirty dishes stacked in the sink. The trash is mostly empty, save for a discarded box of cereal. And my monitor is not displaying something Saturnia related. The entrance isn't big enough for both Fang and I, so I leave her supporting shoulder and limp my way to the twin size mattress on the floor. It's so tempting to just drop face first like usual, but I don't think I survived the shock of the fall. Nice place. Question mark. You don't have to stay. I just want to curl up in bed and sleep my sorrows away. And on, it's 10 in the morning. And? <laughs> and? <laughs> You're fucking hurt. At least let me try and patch you up. You can't patch broken bones. Fuck you, I can. <laughs> hey, Kay, you, just, you, you just gotta dig a little deeper. You don't. Fang's glare makes my mouth click shut. Fang sets the bag of ice packs, icy hots, and sabre balm on my computer desk when something catches her eye. Cum stains. Is, is, is that a cum stain on your desk? <laughs> no. no, no. Is, I, I, ju I just spill a lot of yogurt. I don't, I don't think Fang would, I hope Fang wouldn't be able to recognize a cum stain. My well, I mean, gets really desperate sometimes. Her parents oh, did no. say to knock when it's their special night. It's... Oh. <laughs> Ridley wasn't meant to go inside of there. Is, is that the phone room that you bought a while back? You actually kept that thing? Fang is standing over the shoebox I've been using to hold my pet. I put in a few wooden blocks for it to bump around. Uh, yeah. Can you go ahead and feed him for me? With this box of cornflakes? Yeah. yeah, two or three will do. And you tape your railgun to the top of it. <laughs> if you look close, I gave him angry eyebrows, too. <laughs> That's adorable. What? 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 I can't even ask. Mom never, let her, Mom never let me have a pet. And he's cute. Don't make fun of Metal Gear Rainbow, or else he'll shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> He's armed with tiny, angry mar marine munitions. Fang crumbles up some of the flakes and pours the crumbs in Ray's box. <laughs> I can hear it happily ingesting breakfast from my bed. You're such a tweeb, Anon. There's no heat in her words. Fang turns to me, the small tub of di disgusting green stuff in hand. All right, let me see where you're hurt, Anna. Everywhere. Okay, then that's gonna, we're gonna have to get started everywhere. I'll check a wow wow. <laughs> no way in fuck. Now. Hey, he's Christian, by the way. 
the cross as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's been talking about... Raptor. Yeah. Raptor. raptor Jesus, you're right. He talks about Raptor Jesus. Shit. I really want to see a crucifix with Raptor Jesus on it. I mean, I guarantee, if not from this, there's definitely R of that existing somewhere. I'm typing Raptor Jesus crucifix into Google right now. Shit. When did Fang learn the patented mom glare? Take off your shirt. But my skeleton arms. Wait, what? Take it off or I'll cut it off with your knife. I mean, I see I found it. Oh, I found a crucifix that is just someone put a raptor head on it. That's not as interesting. Yeah, it's not going to cut it. Uh, I also found an image of, <laughs> of Jesus uh, with so much muscle and strength that he literally, while nailed to the cross, has ripped the cross apart. <laughs> it's just, just flexed like, it apart. Yeah. Just Je tore apart the cross. Jesus died for your gains. Fine. I step into my tiny. And do it slow. <laughs> do it slow and do a twirl. <laughs> okay. I step into my tiny shower stall and turn on the water. The shower head sputters before it starts weakly spraying lukewarm water. Is she just gonna watch? I mean, she can if she wants. Who's gonna stop her? The temperature you? of the me. <laughs> then her dad just comes through the window. Ripley just shows up out of nowhere. He was hiding under the bed. The temperature of the water doesn't help the tension in my muscles or the bruises marring my skin. Ow! That was so painful it made him grow eyes and a mouth again. I stretch around and see my massive blotches of purple and black splattered across my torso. Yeah, I'm really curious, if you had chosen to dodge it or duck under it, would there be like a sequence for this for Fang instead? And you'd have to she'd be the one heavily injured? Who knows? Who knows? I'll have to play to find you out. Know? Each contusion is hot to the touch under my fingers, and the pain is intense. Tactical avoiding of the question. The worst is across my chest where the bollard hit me. Oh, that's that's a somber look right there. What's a bollard? Uh, those little concrete poles you would see outside of like doors at, in front of okay. stairs or yeah, shopping yeah. malls. Yeah. I eventually get finished examining my wicked wounds and step out of the bathroom. Oh no, I forgot my towel. It hey, will. <laughs> Fag is on her phone doing Raptor Jesus knows what. Fang then pats the bed. That's also a nice shot angle of her. Yeah. Dem hips and thighs. I was looking more towards the chest area, but yes, all around the curves are good. Come here. Ripley slides out of the shower head. <laughs> just, Ripley just slides out of the. He just slides out of the shower head. It's like, just nice cock. <laughs> Impressive. Still gonna have to kill you though. Impressive. Not something worth mounting on my wall though. You're good, but I'm better. I'm better. And <laughs> That, that Star Wolf line will always be with me. <laughs> I walk over. I walk over and lie down on my stomach. I just had the weirdest thought about my dad coming into the shower with you. Coming into the shower? <laughs> oh, God. Fang, what, what is your household? Don't ask me about my fetishes. I don't judge you for your weird I mean, anime yeah. case. She she recognizes she cum stain apparently so. Oh Jesus, that's bad. Raptor Jesus, you mean? I then feel cold cream and soft touch on my back, along with a massive jolt of pain. Also, everyone knows Jesus was a pterosaurus. Ah <laughs> oh, fuck! Shit, sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, I just didn't expect it to hurt that bad. Just try to relax. 
I sigh and try my hardest not to freak out when she touches me, both for the pain and for a female touching me. She eventually finds a sweet spot of pressure to apply. It still hurts a little, but it doesn't cause me to wince. Her hands are soft. I find myself relaxing under Fane's ministrations. And then I find that I have an erection. <laughs> Which doesn't work so well when I'm face down. <laughs> no, it'll work better. <laughs> Feels like it would be hurtful. <laughs> I, that, I'm sorry, can you go back? I uh, missed the line. Starting to feel better now? I nod. Good, now I'm going to do the other side. Oh no. My eyes feel heavy as the ointment begins to warm up, drawing, a te drawing away tension from my aching muscles. I can make out a steady thumping on my bed. My senses fade more until I'm all, awa all I'm aware of is Fang's fingers tracing circles over my sore back and the sound of thumping. Ah, yeah, th this song, this is the one it said was moving along. Because this was on the rooftop. I don't get it. It, 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 it doesn't sound like it. I don't know if I see, well, see, I, I look up the song on YouTube and it brings up some song by some dude I never heard of and then move along by All American Rejects. So I'm not exactly sure which one it's trying to say. I wa I'm going to assume moving along because it, that was a great Bionicle commercial. Oh, yeah, I do like that. I do know that. Just OK, now I know what you're talking about. Now I can hear this. I still can't hear it from this, but at least I know the beat you're talking about. Yeah, I listened to the other one, too, and it kind of just sounds like generic modern Wait, music. I assume we're coming up on the end here, question mark? No. Oh, really? Not for a while. I mean, I assume midterms. I assume this goes until the end of graduation. But I assume it's also not. I, I feel like we're more than halfway through the game, but I don't. Oh, think yeah, because we had midterms. Therefore, we're past the halfway <laughs> point. That's the case. Is he right, though? I'm just curious. We are past the halfway point. Oh, that's interesting. All right. Well, I'm happy about that. My senses fade more until all I'm aware of is Fang's fingers tracing circles over my sore back and the sound of thumping. The sound of thumping. I wonder what that is. Fang's hands slow to a stop and eventually pull away, leaving me disappointed. <laughs> the bed shifts. Anna. There's something in her voice, but I can't discern it. Hmm? It's called sound. <laughs> I need to do the front. Oh no. Are they gonna actually make the joke? Oh. Okay. That, oh god, those eyes. Oh, oh my god. goodness, those eyes. <laughs> what, are, what are those eyes supposed to be indicating? He is it's having like a heart attack. He is having left, like five heart attacks right now. The left eye is like fucking a, a crescent, a crescent. It's like that dude from Fire Force. Like, I, uh, fucking. Anon with this expression looks like fucking out of. God, what's up? What, he looks like a mutant. <laughs> out of something specific, but it's like. He must have like. Swollen a, eyes. A mother could not love that face. <laughs> okay, then. I roll over onto my back. I find myself face to beak with her. Hold on. Okay. That's adorable. It so is. is she under the covers right now? No, she's not. Uh, there seems to be covers. It, it, it might just be bunched up to her side. Mm-hmm. Dangerously close. I can feel her breath on my lips, and I blush. It never even occurred to me that I could apply the ointment on myself. <laughs> I want to look aside. Turn my face away to hide the growing blush. But I can't. I'm entranced, looking into Fang's warm amber eyes. Millions of words flash through my head as I try to find something to say. Fang is looking right back. Eyes that seem to glow with what little sunlight filling the room stared into mine. I wonder. I hope. Do you like me, Fang? And then the answer is no. Because that's the way it goes. Anon. 
Oh, oh wait, I'm sorry. Did you think I was coming on to you? <laughs> just look at this. <laughs> You're literally on top of me. No, you, you just gave me so many flashbacks. I they were this close, and it's like, oh, I'm sorry, did I send the wrong signals? No, you, you, you joke. I. I'm sorry. I don't mean. I don't mean I to have, fun at it. I have just the other day, in fact, spent hours snuggling with a girl in my bed, and then afterwards, like, yeah, I don't, I'm not into you. <laughs> oof. <laughs> Big oof. <laughs> you would think. I mean, just like, oh, I'm sorry, I got the wrong. Are you sure she's not just playing hard to get? It was entirely her idea, too, by the way. I, I, you know, I, what I know about women could fill a thimble halfway. I have certainly not snuggled up against a girl in the last few years, much less the last few days. But that sounds like the possibility of playing hard to get, like just playing games. But I would not take my advice on that. That is the hardest to get in the world. <laughs> well, either that or she just thinks you're like just a friend. No, well, yeah, sure. The bet. <laughs> Ah, uh, the yeah, woes of romance. That's why I no again. That's I fall for it over and over again. I'm just like yeah. Surely this time it's it's that obvious. No, it was. <laughs> yeah, the biggest oof. F in chat. Come on, no. <laughs> I'm dense. What do you mean I'm? <laughs> What about that made me? Yeah, dead? I feel like the way he described it, if she said afterwards, oh, I'm not into you. I, f I yeah. mean, see, there's the thing. There's playing around, but if you tell someone, oh, I'm not into you, that's kind of like, th there's no mixed message yeah. there. You're outright saying, yeah. no, how did. am I supposed to yeah. think otherwise? Yeah. Pretty knows and a yes means yes. <laughs> I pulled out my <laughs> thoughts by your voice. Fangs blushing heavily now, too. And her tail is positively hammering away at my bed. W wait. Oh, fuck. Did I... I, um... W w what was that? D did I say... Yeah. Did... Did he say something? He said, do you like me out loud instead of in his head? Oh, uh, lol. Uh, the, the thing that comes up is all the... the uh, uh, my head sinks back into my pillow. I am dead now. Fuck. A snort. Hey, you. What? <laughs> Uh, the comment. Yeah. A snort escapes from Fang Speak. Uh, such a fucking I, weeb. If 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 there was a move that I could have made that I did not, I would. I require explanation. <laughs> I joined her in bed for snuggles, and had a nice time with her. And then we had discussions about feelings for each other. What? Man, I don't know. You can draw a fucking roadmap of women for me. I am not the authority to ask on this one, but I just, I feel like that must be some sort of game. No one would get into a bed with a person, snuggle up with them for hours, and then say, I'm not into you, unironically. There's some kind of deeper hidden meaning there that you have to decipher. That just, I, may, maybe, maybe, maybe that's my wrong call, and maybe I'm gonna get me too for this, but I, that just seems like... I mean, me there was a whole movie about that, right? What was it? I, what? How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days or something, where it was a rom-com of just mi throwing misleading messages like that to, tr t to tail the guy along, but then the twist is, oh, she actually falls in love with him. I like, no I like this. I like this. I like this. No longer, I like I did. no longer like GF less. Anon dies, having lost the vital element of being an Anon. <laughs> he lost the core lifeblood. No GFs, only 2Ds. Game. Well, no, this is 2D, so he wins. No, but he's 2D too, so it doesn't count. Ah, it cancels out like a negative. Such a fucking tweet. like antimatter. <laughs> Her fingers brush lightly across the largest bruise on my chest, without ointment. 
you mutter from time to time. I didn't start noticing it till our uh, date. Is she sitting on him? Or on the. No, that's the mattress. I think it's yeah, that's just the mattress. No, I think that's just the mattress because you can see his pants to her left. See the blue spot? Oh, uh -oh. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I groan aloud. So the entire time. Yeah. It's uh, kind of cute. You think you're talking in your head and you're just saying it really deeply. Wait, now I have to yeah. know which things have been inter Oh, uh, and that's why Reed. That's yes, why that wasn't Reed. Reed like, yeah, well, he, that's why Reed could read our minds. He could just hear us muttering. Yeah, all of our narrations <laughs> had just been us got, autistically muttering under our breath. That's a fucking great twist. How much? Surely not and literally everything. Oh, surely not everything. I assume the alarms obviously are, you know, just in his head. But some of it. I mean, his response to the alarms, probably. Raptor Jesus on his cross of rock. So for months now. I've known. And... Fang leads over me with her hand, braced next to my head for support. I... I like you too. Fang's ha hand moves back to my chest, resting just over my machine gun beating heart. Her head slowly descends towards mine. And before we we can start trying to figure out how human dino tonsil hockey is played, <laughs> Fang's weight begins to press down behind her hand, which is dead center of the most serious bruise on my chest. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> oh, oh, she's... Oh shit! Sorry, 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 sorry. I I love the eye. Nice when other people find out. Uh, I managed to catch my breath. Man, I'm just I'm just loving all the CG shots here. Oh, so that's why the what the back of her shirt looks like. Oh, it's back. Yeah, I was, I was noticing that earlier. That it's, it's I, very wait, not I thought much. It, I thought it didn't have straps though. I thought it was more of like a tube top. Unless maybe it's just this shot. I, I, now I want a normal shot of her. I'm okay. Just... Ow. My hand wraps around fangs. It may be uh, something else. Hand holding is a lovely thing. That won't stress yeah, these. Right. Not... Uh, I nod at the blemishes across my chest. So what you're saying is not sex. Like... Like... Uh, I, I like the little upturned mouth there, the little smile. The snoot. Like... A hug? Maybe? I don't... I'm cut off by Fang, moving closer to me again. Aww. Also interesting, she lays on her wings. Both of them, which is even more interesting. Her arm shifts, moving from my chest to my shoulder. I think that mostly the artist just wanted you to be able to see dead ass. V uh, probably dead a very true possibility. Impressive. Her wing drapes over both of us, becoming a soft and warm blanket of feathers. What is actual goodbye volcano high supposed to be rated? Uh, uh, probably T. Probably T for Tina is what I would guess. Uh, it depends on how they're going, because, I mean, logistically, it's probably going to be teen. I don't see them pushing anything towards M-rated, considering the type of, well, the type of people the developers are and the type of game they're probably going for. Interesting. Then again, this also implies the game will be released at some point. Maybe it'll just be A-rated. It'll be the first time that there's actually, like, a triple-A porn game that's, like, considered also just good. <laughs> I'm not sure you'd call Vol Goodbye Volcano High triple-A. I'm not sure if it has that much money behind it's, it. Yeah, fair enough. Well, <laughs> the interesting thing is it's funded by Canadian government money. Okay. Because I, I guess Canada has a thing where certain... Uh, I don't know if it's a government... Like, if it's for just game devs in general, or because they're a, uh, like, a small BIPOC indie group that they get funding for it. But yeah, they got funding from 
the government funding from Sony because they were in the the Sony Direct. So they're at least double A. And where did all this money go if they're not working on the game? <laughs> uh, rewriting the story because the first because uh, the main story writer got outed for uh, writing articles about Harry Potter nude mods for games. And then they've been spending like two years building an anime rig to make it look like a movie when it's excessive. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, imagine this all. Like, if they actually did get full visual novel, as in they made it basically a. Uh, That'd be uh, fucking incredible. Novel. If, if you've like seen what they have movie. so far, it's not. Dude, I, w I just want that to be a thing now, though. Like a full on visual novel, that's not like even. Like a bit, like visual a, novel a, a, isn't even a fair thing to call it anymore. It's literally just a show where every now and then you have dialogue options. Yeah, I mean, that. that would just be stuff like Life is Strange because it's all 3D animated. But yeah, but. No, I was saying literally a cartoon, not just 3D animations of characters. Oh, like around. hand drawn. I mean, literally. You're just watching a television show where you have some choices every now and then. Well, I mean, at that point, it would just be that choose your own adventure thing that Hasbro did with the Equestria Girls on YouTube. Uh, That's funny. Yeah, like and yeah. Which you can't use now because YouTube killed annotations. So that whole thing yeah. is broke. And then they privated unlisted videos. So it's completely gone except for archives. Fortunately, we do have archives. I have all the archives. Yes. Canada injects money to domestic media productions. Ah, okay, so there you go. What a weird use of tax dollars. I mean, I've heard, uh, well, I know, again, another thing to go with Hasbro with, uh, no, 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 this wasn't Hasbro, right? Uh, this was with Jalen Showdown when they did the reboot of that. Yeah. Since it became a Canadian company animating the reboot, they had they couldn't hire any of the old voice actors except Tara Strong because she had dual citizenship in America and Canada. Because Canada only hires natives for media Whoa. projects. And no one accuses them of racism and bigotry. Well, it's to uh, support, uh, you know, you know, the domestic product over you know foreign stuff. It does. Well, America it, works. It, it, it's interesting. <laughs> Amer America just does everything better. I don't know why other countries haven't figured this out yet. <laughs> I, was, I was jokingly pointing out the fact that Canada blocks off their southern neighbors from their job market. When we do that, <laughs> when we do that it's a problem. <laughs> it's just like in, in South, the South, so South Park, or when they have Garrison wanting to build a wall, but then Canada already has a wall built. They're like, hey, you can't do that. That was my thing. We already have a wall here, buddy. Pretty great. We have all this great stuff behind here. It's too bad you can't see it. <laughs> when Goodbye Volcano High is finally released, it immediately becomes non-canon, because only Snoot is canon. If, if they re <laughs> I'm going to find it interesting if they release it just to see how the characters compare, because yeah. they, they cannot get anywhere close to this writing, I feel. I mean, they did change their one trailer to have at the end. What do you think's gonna happen at the end? You know what happened to the dinosaurs, right? So it's like, are they gonna lean into like a the dinosaurs TV show ending where no matter what, everyone's just fucking dead? Because I thought that could be a saving grace if they actually go with that. But now I don't want to see any of these characters die, even the goodbye Volcano High versions. I'm too attached to them. Like I don't. Carl DeWitt in it. <laughs> Her head lands next to mine, sinking into our now shared pillow until I'm eye to eye with her. Cuddling it is. I smile and nod. Rip your There's not even here. much cuddling he can do in this condition, to be honest. <laughs> I can just put an arm around you. Even if they. Can you do that? Maybe? <laughs> or he could put his arm down, she could lay on top of it, and then he could just pull his arm up. It's the best yeah. he could do. Like under the oh. neck. Oh, there we go. Even if Fang is now laying atop my arm and I'm starting to lose feeling in it. The feel of her warm body pressed against my side is definitely worth it. And between that warmth and the plush wing blanket, my eyes grow heavy again. Fang's already started to snore right into my ear. Ah, oh, fuck it. 
I close my eyes and decide that sleeping with Fang is easily the best thing to happen to me. Ah, there we go. Snore. The next day, I was about to get ready to get to school when Fang stopped me at the door. I told her I felt fine, but when I crumpled after she poked my ribcage, I decided she had a compelling argument to stay. <laughs> Fang and I ended up just watching movies and playing X-Rocks all day. I don't think I've ever seen Fang this morose, though. Oh, there you go. You can see uh, Rainbow right there. That's that's hilarious. <laughs> There's ra well, well, Rainbow. Metal Gear Metal Rainbow. No, it would be Roomba, so Metal Gear Rainbow. Ro it is Ba, you're right. Didn't want to pry too much, even if we're dating now. Although I have a distinct hunch it's related to the band and Trish. Today, though, I bit my tongue through Fang's chest poke test, and she let me go. I know she stayed the day before to keep an eye on me, but she still didn't want to go today. I made her promise. I made her promise not to start preening again before I left. I know picking up her missed homework will cheer her right up. <laughs> now that I finally have some time to myself, I could properly address something I've been meaning to. The alarms. Ahem. <clears throat> <clears throat> A girl is staying in my house! How did this happen? <laughs> How did I go from never being in a relationship to having a chick sleep over in less than two days? Also, her, her parents are going to kill you! <laughs> oh, fuck yes! Oh, Emily is going to you know, tear him apart. Oh, fuck, if anyone finds out. What do her parents think she's doing? Fang's father, Nacer, Trish, all collectively splattering me on a wall. That's hot. <laughs> it's not like I could ask for advice either. The only other people I can ask are all hopelessly single or probably living off government benefits. I would kill you. <laughs> My heartbeat during Fang's chest poke test from the inside is a good indicator. I need to calm the fuck down. We're past DEFCON 1 and just way into nuclear wasteland at this point. <laughs> yeah, it's not a threat anymore. It's now happening. It happened. Or it has happened. <laughs> Just get through today and check out some romance manga on the way home. Okay. He disappoints me in so many ways. <laughs> um, this is probably a good pausing point. Is it is yeah, 3 a.m.? It is, it is 1 a.m. for me as well. I need to get up for work soon. All right, good pausing point. So, how are you guys feeling so far? And more importantly, especially you, Hinkle, how are you feeling about Trish now? I mean, I don't like her as much right now. <laughs> yeah, kind of a that was kind of a dick move. Uh, I, I I hope I mean, for the love of God, Naomi has never done anything like this to you. Please start being nicer to Naomi just by comparison to Trish, if nothing else. Uh, I I mean uh, I think I definitely agree with the you know empathetic angle. I get why Trish is doing it, but this was like. There are lines uh, to be crossed, and I mean, there was absolutely more, you know, less drastic, more healthy ways if Trish was having this big of a problem to deal with it. Like, it was just a very stupid decision. It did absolutely yeah, nothing. It was, to it was straight her. up dumb. It wasn't going to help her in the long run, or even the short run. It's, it was dumb. Um, I, I, it is very fascinating to imagine how she thought that was going to go. Um, I mean, yeah, especially since uh, she was bolting for the door right after it happened. Yeah. Uh, so women, women ain't rational. If they were, they'd be men. <laughs> God. Um, so I, I, I will say this: that would that would have never happened had I been in Anon's place, because I would have been nice to Trish. Yeah. To be fair, Trish. I mean, I, I definitely think Anon could have put more of an effort this entire time. But to be fair to Anon, Trish has been giving him very limited to work with. Like, like basically, stealing Trish from Fang, and Fang yep. just wouldn't really care. 
Yeah, but Trish, I mean, Trish is also not the healthiest. I, I still don't think Trish was always the healthiest friend for Fang to have. Like, the whole base thing, uh, forcing Fang to use base yeah. without her even mm -hmm. listening to her about guitar. Like, if it wasn't for Anon, that would still be an issue. No, they yeah. listen. Remember, it was a Democratic vote with three two people. <laughs> three people. Two, uh, d d democracy is two lions and a lamb voting on what's for dinner. <laughs> yep. Any, um, any other thoughts or feelings? Expectations? Well, I, definitely, I can definitely understand how many people waifu fang here. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, that is, that is cheap girlfriend material right there. Also, I guess in the end, uh, maybe, I don't know if he wants to thank Trish or the guy who threw the soda can at his head. What I kind of hope is I kind of hope uh, Trish repays Anon for this whole fiasco by hunting down the guy who threw the soda can and beating the crap out of him because that was like the first thing you see Trish doing is beating the crap out of people who were laughing yeah, at your show. Yeah. I think it would be a very good step towards redemption for her if the first thing she did upon getting out was ending out she tracked down the guy who threw the soda can and breaking him, uh, breaking him in half. Mm. And also nice. just that, you know, that's a little comparison since you bring it up, how, you know, you start with Fang having a horribly embarrassing moment and now we just get on having his horribly embarrassing moment but this time, he's got someone to support. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's grown as a person. And so is Fang. It's nice. No, Fang. I think Fang's Again, definitely... Fang I mean, has... Oh, sorry, you go ahead. I was just going to say, the only reason people waifu Fang is because of this game. This game existing. I, well, if there's you the interesting... other options to go through, then people would like other characters too because there'd be intimate nice moments of other characters well it's like you're not entirely wrong because the only reason this game was made is because people saw fang in goodbye volcano high and were like this character needs better than this game you know i, I guess it's funny we don't know do we know if snoot yeah, do we know if Fang is actually the star of uh, Goodbye Volcano High, like the actual game, or is it just yes. could it be any of those characters? Uh, Fang is the star of Goodbye Volcano High. You would be playing as her as we are playing as Anon here. Weird. Ah. Okay, I just think it would be funny if it turned out, like, in the trailers, Fang got most of the screen time, but then it, like, pulls a bait and switch and, like, some other character is the lead in the actual game. See, and then this that would be cool if they could do that, but I feel like they're probably banking on we have a nine binary lead for our game as their main marketing strategy to do that. Unless they just make everyone non binary. Also I like I like this comment. Trisha's amazing plan. Step one, Anon gets embarrassed out of school. Step two, everyone thanks her for exposing such a turbo tree. Step three, Fang says she's in love with Trish now. Step four, profit. <laughs> I, I also like, I mean, I also, like I said before, I really fucking like that this is the reason Anon had to dip schools all the time thinking about dark shit. Like, I always suspected there was a chance of it being something really underwhelming. And the fact that it is is actually hilariously in character for Anon. Like, yeah, I mean, I do like to, I do like that they did demonstrate how bullying can escalate, which is an issue that, I mean, it's not even necessarily purposeful escalation, but something small like throwing a can at someone can have... A big rippling effect. I mean, that was a dramatic example, but it escalates, is the point. So, mm -hmm. if that's how it started. Well, it's also like, I mean, again, you could just link it to at the start. You know, a Nazi's sees the anti bully poster. He's like, oh, it's just like the PSAs. They show a kid getting bullied. He runs out into the road and gets run over by a car because he got bullied and had to run away. So, it's almost exactly yeah. like that. He got bullied and then he practically broke every bone in his body. Yeah. Before the um, rewrite she was, now they're talking about this weird group pairing thing. This game is going to be a mess when they, if it ever releases. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the last time I saw it, it, it they were like... Be, it, it, it's going to be one of the most interesting, like, experiments in, in the history of gaming, I think, with just the general... This general, like, all of this teasing trailing going on, like, the trailers, all that exists yeah. to the game, and then a fan game it's made of it, and then, like, there's an evolution yeah. of the, the real the game. Fa yeah, the, I mean, this is just history that we have a fan game before the real thing even being made. So yeah. I don't think that's ever happened. Fucking huge fan game, too, by the way. It's not, like, yeah. some little thing. Yeah, because it... Well, yeah, like, uh, Pixel saying, the game single-handedly put Goodbye Volcano High in the spotlight again when it would have been forgotten. Because the funny thing is it got so many people talking about the the Goodbye Volcano High again that their Discord server got filled up 
that they had to make it you now have to apply to their Discord server and fill out an application to even get in. And also, if you mention Snoot in any way, they ban you. Because they're, cause they're seething over it. What if you, I mean, what if you're just talking about the literal snoots? That's what they're called. They call snout snoots. They call a snout a snoot. That's what you want to snoot. You, you, you dance a fine line. But I want to uh, reiterate that if you had romance options for other characters in this game, people would be freaking out about those characters, too. It's just nice to have an intimate moment with a character. It's not specifically that it's Fang. And I... It's just exposure effect. True. I would be interested in seeing, like, yeah, it would be a much bigger game. Uh, it would need a lot more branching stories uh, yeah. to get as involved with every other I want the Cucking Nazar storyline. I want the Unicorn storyline. I want to be a part of their threesome. Oh. I mean, something like that does happen time to time, but there's less fan games some more bootlegs. Yeah, but I mean, I guess something of this quality. Like, it's not just some guy making some or, or, indie game, like, oh, I made this in a week on Game Maker, I'm gonna put it on Itch.io. This is like, they put like, or, what, a year plus into this? Or, or where's the storyline where you finally cure Trisha's severe autism by giving her the HMD? <laughs> HMD. Human male dick. Oh. Or, or huge monkey dick. <laughs> um. Alright. Yeah. So with yeah. that, we will continue. It was good. I really like the. I think this is the juiciest part of the story yet. There's a lot mm, of drama. There. I really like the arguing earlier. I really like the the conflicting viewpoints on that. I think that was some of the biggest discussion we've gotten out of the game yet in general on how to approach Trish. And I think there's the the having her be the one to drop that uh, bomb was like a very good a very good dramatic point for this a, tur a dramatic turning point for the story have to wait for Moz for yeah. those stories. Yeah. Just gotta get somebody to write to him. But anyways, with all that, we'll continue next Tuesday. Continue off how this story goes. We have a few more streams of this to go. Probably, I don't know. Probably a good while. I'm looking forward we'll see to how it. it goes. Yes. I'm, looking, I'm, very, I'm also looking forward to seeing how it goes. Yeah, looking forward. So stay in for, uh, you know, tune in next Tuesday to see more of this. You su subscribe to get notifications. Or. Uh, Tuesday question mark? What? Are, are you sure Tuesday? Yeah, uh, PQ is going to be on a Saturday schedule for a bit. Oh. Remember, because Pirate. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, Pirate Just, schedule yeah. rotates. So he's Wait. on. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, also, as a, a little side note to continue shilling, Twitch recently flagged me to have follower emotes. So now, if you go over to twitch.tv slash kazard, you can follow to get yourself some snoot emotes. Right now, you, you, okay, Mr. you can get a happy fang or an annoyed trish for the low cost of free just by following. Now, the downside, <laughs> the downside is they're only usable on my channel. But with the benefit of channel points, just by watching my stream for an hour, you can unlock the left facing fang for a full day to use anywhere else on Twitch. That's right. For free, you just watch my channel for an hour and you can snoot spam the entire website to your heart's pleasure. Or Holy you can shitting dick nickel, Batman! Or you can sub if you want, I mean it's up to you, you can do whatever. It's your life. Left facing fang. <laughs> Yes, the elusive left-facing fan. So anyways, like all, like, uh, like all that, see more Snoot next Tuesday. You can see, uh, you know, subscribe here, subscribe to the Twitch. We do more streams there, do fun stuff, get your Snoot emotes. Everybody loves Snoot emotes. Have a good night. Say good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Oh. Okay. All right, good night, and see you next week. Or later this week if you tune into the Twitch.